Hello everyone and welcome to another relaxing commentary long play on my better Minecraft world. We recently made this beautiful zombie XP farm, very overgrown, very cozy. And we now officially have a friend that can trade us some amethyst shards because we do have an amethyst geode nearby us. And we also have a friend that will trade us some zombie flesh that we get from our little zombie farm here. Now, today, I want to work on creating a little sugarcane shop, and I'm thinking that we are going to place our cozy little sugarcane shop right over here. But as you can see, we have a giant hole that is kind of right where I want to place the shop. So what we're going to have to do first and foremost is fill in this hole. So our first task is going to be going and grabbing a bunch of dirt and then filling this in. We're not going to fill it all the way in. I'm probably going to make the dirt come to like right here or something like that. But we are going to make the sugarcane shop kind of in this area. I wanted it to be near the windmill and we're just going to probably place it right in here. It's going to be a 14 wide build. So we do need to make sure we cover this entire thing over. I'll probably leave just a little bit of a way to get down since we do often go and collect granite from down here but that is the plan so phase one is grab dirt and fill in the hole and then phase two is gonna be to build up a little sugarcane shop because i in the past few uh little long plays have just been coming over here and just getting my sugarcane this way so I would love something a little bit more automatic just so I can actually get a decent amount because one of the things I really love using are these little paper lanterns. I think they're adorable and I definitely want more of them in our area, but it does require a decent amount of paper. So that is literally the main reason I want to make a paper farm is to have pretty things. And you know, we can make books and other things too, but I mainly want these lanterns. So. My thought for where we can go and grab all of our dirt is probably going over to one of our villages and then just finding an open field and literally just scooping up a bunch of dirt. But I have been placing a decent amount of sugar cane in this chest for my paper lanterns. And I mean, it's worked well so far. I just grab a little bit from there and it, it works out perfectly. But we're gonna just go, I have I don't really need anything else, but we're just gonna go and go grab some sugar cane kind of shop dirt stuff. Just the stuff. We're gonna grab all the stuff for the sugar cane shop project. And I think it's gonna look so cool. So just imagine this is our area before, right? This is what we have. And in the end, we'll have a beautiful sugar cane shop. And I, I can't wait. It's gonna be great. So let's, uh, let's get started, but I hope that while you are watching this, you're just able to relax, get your projects done, work on the things that you need to get done too, or just have a little rest, enjoy relaxing to some Minecraft adventures, long play, building, terraforming, all the good things, but whether you're just watching this in the background or enjoying this just sitting down i hope uh you're you're cozy you're having a good time and we're just gonna sit here for a bit and collect up a bunch of dirt that that's what we're doing just we're starting out a nice relaxing commentary long play with scooping up dirt yep this, this is this is our life for a little bit but honestly, this village area is the perfect spot for me to do this in because there is just so many just open plains where I can just, you know, shave off a layer of dirt here and there. I'm also collecting some flowers as I'm doing this, so I'm also a big fan of that. Also, I think I just got, uh, if you look at my hearts, they're kind of half blue. This wind will like move me slightly and then it also kind of makes me chilled, which is interesting. And I wanna figure out if that's just like an ambient mod or if 
I can do anything with the wind. I've found the, the like, the mod that it's a part of, but I hadn't really, like, researched it too much. But it kind of seemed like it was just an ambient thing, which is interesting. But I would love to know if I can actually do something with it or not. Because that would just be helpful. You know, even though dirt placing is just pretty straightforward, there's really nothing to it. It's also kind of just relaxing, you know? It's, it's a vibe. It's very chill. You don't need to do anything, you know? You don't need to really think a whole lot as you're doing it. You can kind of just mindlessly grab all your dirt. And I feel like that's what I like about resource collecting is you can throw on some music, a show, a movie, an audiobook, and just enjoy collecting some dirt, some, some, some supplies, like whatever you need to collect. Oh, hey. That's a little uh, precarious there. To, if you fall down there, you should be careful. But it's just nice. I, I think I really enjoy the resource collecting part of Minecraft. It's very enjoyable. And while you're uh, watching this, I also... Oh no, the kitty is stuck. Maybe we should go save the kitty. Let's let's do a little, little rescue mission quickly. But I was gonna say, I'm curious to know if you're watching this during work or just uh, getting some fun things. Please don't be scared of me, kitty. Please don't be scared of me. Oh <gasps> No, that's not what you're supposed to do, you goon. Okay. Maybe I'm not going to be able to help you, really. Do I have to lead you? Can I leave you? Is that going to be a more efficient way to get you up and out of here? How do I get you out, cat? No, you... Wait, maybe if I push them this way. Maybe if I... S Go the other way. Hi, come here. Come here. Yeah, this is the way. Okay, now it seems like you're kind of okay. I think. Can you get up? Okay, we saved the cat. <laughs> Come on, cat. You got it. We saved you. It's interesting how when they're on the lead, they're kind of not afraid of me. Have you noticed that? This cat's not really too concerned about me now that they're on the lead. It's also kind of funny that cats will follow you on a lead because I feel like if in real life, you put a leash on a cat, they're just like, you're kidding me? Like, let go of me. All right, kitty cat. Oh, oh, hi, hi there, bud. There you go. See, now it just runs away. Like, it's so interesting. Ah, uh, okay. We saved the kitty cat. Now we can resume our, our initial mission and goal. He's like, oh yeah, I, I didn't save that cat over there. Yeah, I saved the cat. It's also kind of interesting because these little villager guys, if I were to like punch one of them, they would attack me, which is kind of scary. <laughs> I don't like that uh, idea that they'll just come and get me. You know, it's a little bit unnerving. So I need to make sure I don't accidentally hit them. And I feel like it's probably the same for regular villagers, but I'm not quite sure. All right. Well, before the cat uh, needed saving, I was gonna ask if you guys have any like snacks or drinks while you watch these. If you have like a blanket you cozy up to, what kind of is uh, the vibe for while you're watching this one? I have a vanilla latte by my side. I took a morning walk down to a local coffee shop that just opened up like four blocks blocks away from my house basically like a like a seven minute walk to this new coffee shop right and so um it's been really fun just having a local coffee shop so i got a latte from them supporting the the small business and they said that on weekends starting soon they're gonna have like scones and just like cookies and things and i'm like i'm already kind of starting to spend like 
my coffee budget just at their store and like if they're adding some like snacks and stuff you know then, then i really want to you know just eat eat their things and drink their drinks but i have a latte with vanilla in it so that's gonna be what i have by my side while i'm working on this so i'll be taking the the sips to enjoy that while it's warm i have a travel mug for it to kind of keep the heat while we're enjoying a little long play adventure commentary together but should um should work i'm also trying to figure out in my head like how much dirt should we collect? Because I do say somewhat regularly how I do need a lot of dirt and I often run out of dirt. So like, should I try to like fill out my inventory with it? I feel like I should. Because even if we just have it in a, like a chest somewhere, like that's still really helpful and useful. Oh, another thing I realized. So I was um, playing in creative and look at this. There's a sugarcane block. Isn't that cool? Like, look at these options. There's like a bamboo one. And we just, I think we're gonna use the botanist workbench, but I thought that was super cool. The only issue is I think we have to start with dried kelp. That's my theory. Yeah, we use the botanist workbench and then uh, we just, we can take any of, I think we start with the kelp block and then we can um, change it into a sugarcane block, which I thought would be super cool. There's also like a solid sugar cube, which pretty straightforward, but I think that would just be fun to also put in our sugarcane farm just to kind of emphasize that this is like sugarcane, you know, and you can make sugar out of the sugarcane. And I thought that was cool. I also noticed that there's sugar water in the Bumble Zone area, which I think, I don't know about you guys, but would you enjoy doing a little commentary long play adventure together? And like we actually go and visit the Bumble Zone place? Because in my quest log book, it looks kind of cool. Like we, we have to throw an ender pearl into a bee nest. And then to leave, we dig to zero or we get to build height. And then we can like ride the bees and things. It just seems like a really cool little adventure. There's a honey crystal shield, like all these little things. We can find the queen bee, pollen puff, like all these interesting things. And a hanging garden, like all these things sound so cozy and cool. So let me know in the comments if you think that a little long play commentary adventure to the bumble zone would be something you guys would enjoy i know sometimes long plays are known for the, just the the chill the building you know type of vibes but i think that could be a really fun adventure i feel like the bees are just gonna be cute and it's not gonna be like anything too like scary you know and if we can ride a bee, like that would be so fun. So let me know if that's something you think would be best for a uh, long play. Um, Cause I was thinking of doing the Bumble Zone on a live stream, but it also could just be fun to do a little explore for a long play. So let me know what you guys would enjoy or if you would enjoy that as a long play. Cause then it's like you're actually getting to fully experience it. It's not like a, the usual let's play style video. Like you get to see the entire process and exploration of it instead of it being a little bit more um, edited or clipped, which I have thought about at some point doing a let's play series in better Minecraft. Cause I think it would be really enjoyable to do so. But since we're doing a long play version of it right now, I'm probably not gonna do that for quite a bit just cause I don't really feel the need to since we kind of have our long play better Minecraft world that's, I'm really enjoying it. So I'm not feeling the need to also start a let's play for, for better Minecraft, but I think it could be a fun thing. Cause for the long plays, I kind of tend to just keep it more cozy overall and just like relaxing something that's more like build focused but while i am build focused for let's plays i feel like it's kind of fun to like 
be a little bit more risky, have a little bit of shenanigans, some chaos, exploring things, whereas like, I might not be fully inclined to do that on long plays. But some of you have made the comment before, it's like, long plays, whether they're like adventure long plays, a little bit more like, cha like chaotic or like shenanigans going down, as long as I like mention in the title the type of long play it is. I think then people were like, well, as long as I know that like, oh, this one is a little bit more like chaotic, explorative, or just more shenanigans, or you kind of know what to expect, then either way, it's like fine to kind of do a little bit of both. But I'm curious, uh, yeah, what you guys think of that. I thought that made a lot of sense. Because I feel like that's how I am. Because sometimes it's like, I feel like most of the time lately, the the minecraft videos that i'm drawn to or watching are a little bit more relaxed or just like your classic slower let's play um like cadence or just like speed of video any w videos that are a little bit more like energetic or like fast paced i tend to not watch lately because for me I feel like most of the time if I'm watching YouTube I want to relax so that's why I'm like well, do I even try the long plays and more of an adventure explore shenanigans type of a video so that's why I'm curious to hear from you but I feel like you can also make the adventure more chaotic or just more calm and chill you know like how you react to things. Also, you know, the power of editing in post. You can add some music that's more calming, even if the moment is a little bit more chaotic or there's more shenanigans, you know? So you can kind of make it what you want, I guess. That's the other part of it that's nice. Also, I'm very curious. So in my long plays for Better Minecraft, I found this one music track that I've just been using in the background for pretty much everything. And I think it's a really nice soundtrack, but I'm curious if you guys like having different kind of soundtracks in your Minecraft videos that you're watching, or if you enjoy the ones that kind of like you have the same thing because then your brain isn't like, needing to register different like sounds different songs and it can just like enjoy focusing more because i know a lot of people will use these to like study or to fall asleep to so i was kind of just curious to know if you guys are enjoying though the long plays for better minecraft have just had one soundtrack in general or if you guys enjoy kind of like a mix or no no music like just minecraft sounds and me talking you know so I was kind of curious to know what you guys thought about that and opinions on those things. I don't really collect resources in like third person like this much, but it's kind of fun because we can see my little backpack. It's kind of funny that it's like twitching because of how it scoops, which is kind of silly, kind of funny. But I like it. It's kind of fun. You know, I can see around me I feel like especially in hardcore this is good because then you can kind of be monitoring your surroundings. Obviously you can't like see behind you. That would be interesting if there was a mod for that where you could like have kind of a peripheral view or like a like a back camera thing. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. All the Minecraft sounds. I feel like after this will be good. I just wanted to kind of finish out this edge here. Okay, I feel like this is good. I'm also gonna fill in the holes that I made. Okay. So I think we're gonna call this good for the amount of dirt. We definitely collected a lot. And we have a lot in our inventory too, so I think that'll be great. We've got lots of dirt. This should definitely hold us over for our project. So let's start filling it in. Also, this was um, my little project spot for trying to get the uh, villagers to take the trades that I wanted. 
because I wanted very specific, um, like librarian enchants. Hi, cat. I'll 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 sleep over here, okay? Then you don't need to be scared. Okay. Okay, I feel like he's stuck here. Are you stuck here? I can't tell if you're stuck in here. I don't think you would be stuck in here. No, you're not stuck. You just like to hang out really close to the waypoint. Are you trying to like leave here? Do you no longer want to protect your village? <gasps> Ooh, presents. What is it? Ooh, a spyglass? Wait, now I'm now I'm distracted. There's presents, guys. <gasps> An acacia sled. Oh, a sled. I wonder if this happens every winter. They kind of just are left around randomly, though. Like, how am I supposed to know where more presents are? Or do they leave them by the fountain? Is that the focus? Because I don't really see any other presents around. Maybe they just leave them by the fountain, more or less. Interesting. Because I don't see any more present boxes. Right? Like, I think it's just around the wells. Is my guess. That's my hypothesis for where they're placed. Because in our other village where they had some of these, I only really saw them in the middle. Like, they're not by houses. Also, how? What? <laughs> Interesting. Okay, well, that's kind of fun. There's some presents. I mean, I'll take a sled and a spyglass. Those are kind of neat. Also, I'm curious to look underneath this. So, here's the thing. I have found that sometimes under these little flamey bits here, these little, um, I don't even know what you call this. Just like a, a summoning circle, whatever. Ow. So there's sometimes these gold swords, but then other times there's other things. So I was kind of curious to just open this up a little bit more and see if I find anything else here. Maybe there's not, but I, in some of these, I've found like a full diamond block, which is insane. So I just wanted to kind of just come back over here and see if, if this was one of those types, but it doesn't look like it is, which that's, that's okay. That is totally fine. I was just wanting to check in case. Wait, oh, I don't think I've been in here yet. I definitely have not been in here yet. <gasps> Ooh, kind of cool. I like how there's a dead bush on the chair. Oh, there's a book. <gasps> What's the book say? Do you believe in gravity? Uh... I don't know what I think of that. Is it because your floor is made of trap doors? Is that why they say that? That also looked really, that looked really good. Like I, I so smoothly just avoided falling. Do you believe in gravity? Can I take the book? Okay, I don't understand the gravity thing, but sure, we do believe in our gravity. Well, this is kind of like a little church type thing. Chapelish, small little build. It's also crazy they're just built out of bone blocks. Like it's so tempting to want to like just take their uh take their whole place. Oh, ow. Oh hey. Um, we'll just put a torch in there. The echo. Oh, I need to eat. Okay. I'm already getting distracted just like exploring more of this village because I definitely have not explored everything here. So I am definitely getting a little distracted. Literally, I came for dirt and then I'm like opening presents and just like checking everything. Uh, too funny. But the sleds are super cool. I think the sleds are very interesting because you can start at the top of a hill. Like let's start at the top of our animal barn, right? Which we do still need to do a little bit more terraforming. I just um, needed more, more doit. 
So we've got our sled. Super cute, very fun. We can sit on it. But then look at this. We We can just go down our sled. Woo! Yeah! Woohoo! Really slow. What's also interesting is sleds. I, I don't understand this part. I'm pretty sure you can also uh, go up. Like, look at this. How is this a thing? What is Minecraft gravity? <laughs> like, I I don't understand. <laughs> I, it's cool, but like, it's 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 weird. It's very weird. Oh, I need an axe. But I'll take it. You know, it's it's neat. And we have an extra spyglass, which I I kind of want to do the whole like it's a it's a bird, it's a plane thing. I think that's kind of fun. But we'll leave that there for now. And then we've got that. Plenty of dirt. So we're gonna put their flowers away. Also, I am starting to run low on space. Certain chests are getting filled up, like our our kind of more stone one. I have overflowed into the glass one. So I think a storage room will be um, required soon. Also, my shovel is about to die. So maybe we go fix up our shovel really quickly. Just do some chillin'. Cause I only have the one shovel. Um, but let's let's take this dirt and let's make um, a box quickly actually. But I do want to have my shovel be um, more fixed up just so that I don't have to deal with it breaking on me because that would be kind of sad. Okay. Oh, that's so much dirt. I love that. Yay. That's so good. So, so good. Okay. Now let's go get our little spoon all fixed up and we'll put that in our offhand and we can kind of just wait here we can um use some rotten flesh to trade hello okay i think i'm getting a little bit of xp from that but not a whole lot we also have some leather boots for traveling We've got some iron ones, which is kind of cool to find those. We've got some goodies. You know, we're getting things. We've also got these zombie souls if I want to make some additional. So, like, if I took one of these zombie souls right now and I right-clicked on this inactive spawner, it would immediately make it an active zombie spawner. So it's kind of interesting, but I liked the idea of having one of these as decorations because then it kind of reminds us like, oh yeah, there's a zombie XP spawner and like that's where all of this is coming from. So I liked that concept. I thought that was cool. And then we grab XP. So how much do we need? All right, this is this is this is gonna take us a bit. Maybe we have a backup. This is, this is gonna take us a bit, just a little little bit. Nothing too crazy, but I do really like how this room turned out. I think it's really really pretty. But I think what I'll do is I'm going to kind of um, just work on getting my sword. Um, collecting up a bunch of the XP for the spoon, and then I'll bring you guys in once we're a little bit closer, because this will take up a lot of our time. So I'm just going to bring you guys back in once my spoon is almost to the point of getting all fixed up. All right, and our shovel is all fixed up, which is great. And I think while we're here, we can just fix up a few of the other pickaxes that we have. There's not like a whole lot that they need to get fixed up for. But I think we'll just do a few more swats at our little zombies and then we will be good to go. And I cannot tell you just how amazing it is to just know I can just get all of my tools fixed up. And it's a lot easier. It's just, it's, it's incredible, honestly. So I'm very happy to have this resource now and just be able to get everything fixed up. And then, you know, we, we get some other things. We're getting some foods. 
you know, some different options. That's always nice. We get some little XP, guys, to add to getting us closer to level 30. And we get these, these soul stars. Which, that's a whole nother thing. The soul stars, I know it's like a bunch of bosses, but that just sounds like very scary. Not the coziest thing, that's for sure. We can just add in the flesh into there. Okay. I I feel like I don't really need to get these like super fixed up. Like a lot of these are really, really close. So maybe we just do a little bit of, of trading. So we'll put this one in the off hand. What's also nice is like we can trade the zombie flesh and we can also, oh, I don't know why these don't like fit. Like why aren't these going together? It's very confusing to me. I don't get that. Marsha, do you know why they aren't getting together all the time? It's kind of strange to me. But, you know, it, it's weird. It's literally spelled exactly the same. And they just don't stack when normally they would stack, you know? Very weird little, little things. I'm not sure if that's just because of different mods. And same with this iron. Like, I can't stack the iron. Just, like, really random things like that. I'm like, I don't fully get this. But it's happening. So, very strange. But I think for now, uh, we have tools that are all fixed up. The the shovel was like the main thing. So let's go home and we'll actually start doing some, some building, some terraforming. Fix our little uh, hole in the ground here. We can take a snooze and then we'll get building. I am uh, very excited for. This has been a kind of a little bit of an annoyance. Not necessarily for like just being a hole. It's like it does. It's going to open up a lot of space for us to kind of like have more building area. Because I can put something like right here. And then if I smooth this over, there's like this section too. So I think uh, that'll be really nice. But let's. Let's start just getting this all scooped up. Now, right where this level is, we also have, I'm trying to think of how to like, kind of blend this into the ground, but we've got this hill here and we've got this pond here. I think the pond is probably gonna go just because then I can actually have more space to put things. Like we could put, I don't even know, like we could have another little mini build here on the way over to our sugarcane farm. But with the pond here, it does kind of take up space. And we've got some like ponds on the sides here. So if we want to like grab more water, anything like that, like we're, we'd be fine. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to fill this in. And then I'm going to kind of shave this back and get rid of this too. So that we're just mainly on this level level of like dirt. And this is gonna kind of be like a slow like ramp up. It's kind of my thought too. I just side note, I love that they just have logs lying down. It just makes the forest so much more dynamic. But back to what I was saying, uh, it'll mostly just be on this level and then we'll like bring it up a little bit. So we're uh we're gonna just fill this in and yeah, we're actually filling the things in. I actually think that since this is gravel, I kind of want to just grab some of the gravel just because then I can use this for more of my coarse dirt and things. So I do kind of want to just grab a layer of this because it is kind of a bummer to know that like if I cover this up, I don't get access to the the gravel below it so I think we're gonna kind of just make a layer like that and then we'll just pick all of this up all our coarse dirt for our building and if I want to use like concrete or anything else right like it also works for that 
And then we take all of our lily pads. What's also fun is we can make like custom lily pads too, so I'm excited for that, which will be cool. All right, we've got our lily pads. I like how the sounds are muffled underground compared to above ground. It's kind of cool. It's like very realistic, right? So that's just so fun. So, so cool. And then we just start filling this all in. Lock that in. And I know I'm not double dirting it or any of those things, but I don't really feel like this needs to be double dirted. I think by our giant hole, I will, just to make sure I don't accidentally like dig underneath me and I just drop it through the floor. That's more so the, the one thing I was a little bit concerned about is like making sure I don't do that. So we've got this, and then we go like so. Like so. Add in dirt here. Okay, and then we'll get rid of this little bunch here. And I can use just a regular spoon that's a little bit quicker. I just didn't want to use my fortune shovel because I would only pick up flint. <laughs> and I did want to have the gravel. So that's one thing to keep in mind is making sure you got the right tools for the occasion. I'm not gonna go all the way through this because the pond will Maybe we do keep a pond, just like a little bit of a pond, like not, oops, I wanted my, my pickaxe. Maybe not like a big pond, you know, but maybe just a widow pond, you know, just a little guy. Cause that could be kind of like an interesting feature, but I just need more space for where I'm building. So we'll get rid of this. I'm excited to see the before and after for this project because we're going to have a giant hole starting out here and then it'll turn into covered, a sugarcane build, and it's gonna look so pretty. I'm very excited for it. All right, now we've got this all done where we want it to be. So then let's just start in this corner. and kind of just start working on the dirt part of it. Now, the other thing we're gonna do is we're gonna have the shop bean here, but below it, we're going to be creating some sugarcane farms that are automatic. The The shop itself is going to have a few kind of sugarcane modules. They're not gonna be automatic ones, but they are still going to be little modules. Which one is this one? Fortune, we will use the fortune. But it's going to have modules underneath the shop that are actually going to be where we're getting the majority of our sugarcane. Just because I want to make sure that the aesthetics, the shop itself, looks very cozy and pretty. But a lot of times you can't exactly have like a more redstone-y farm above because you need to hide the like redstone dust and all of that. So we're doing this a little bit differently where we're kind of putting a build over top the farm which is also kind of something we'll do a lot but i did think at first that we'll just make the whole like sugarcane farm be visible above ground because sometimes it's fun to just see the movement you know to see the the build working the farm working and that kind of just is really cool to see but for the for the sake of space and the look of it, we're just gonna make it kind of fit over the, the top of the auto farms. But this does mean that we'll be doing a little bit of redstone. So um, that's always a fun time. 
I know that's something that I'll joke about is doing a little bit of redstone with red since I'm not very good at it. <laughs> but if you're starting out, you know, you're you're in the you're in it with me. We're figuring it out. I also need to make sure I put torches below this because I'm definitely just creating like a mob spawning platform I'm realizing. So maybe we just quickly add torches here quick. Just to keep the baddies from spawning. Oh gosh, yeah, that, well, that would have been bad. That would have been a lot of just not great friendly people spawning in here. And then we're gonna put one layer of dirt over top of this too. Now, as far as how we're gonna get down here, maybe we just create like a little uh, a water bucket and that'll kind of let us get up and down. I feel like that's probably the safest way and also takes up the least amount of space. All right, now I just pick where this is gonna go. And let's just have it be like here for now. And then if I just come over here. Of removes that and then if I remove this the water should just stay down here so then this is kind of my way up and out of this little cave area oh it does look very dark down here though I am curious like what else is down here we've got a lot of dripstone like I know we're above that a lot but like there's a lot of cave a lot of cave all right, so we figured this out. Then we can just go flying up here, but maybe to make this easier, we go like this, because then we can just kind of push ourselves along the entire way. And then I'm gonna put a torch here so I remember like that's my way down. And then we can keep kind of filling this in. Like so. I won't have the echo anymore, which is kind of a bummer, but this is going to be good. How much uh, dirt? Let's put some more dirt in our inventory. Just adding in some like so. Okay. Now I'm going to get rid of any stone right here. And this is kind of where we'll start to kind of terraform it and make it kind of fit together. So, and then we're terraforming this a little bit, but not covering over what we have at the same time. this in like so this kind of gives us a little bit of a slower incline up the side of this hill so now if we look back at it yeah that'll be good and then we'll just fill this all in these 
guys. Put that in. Fill that in. And then we'll kind of just leave this a little open. Just so I can get there. Then we'll have a good base for building our sugarcane farm, just like that. Okay, now we can take a step back. Ta-da! Look at that. Look at all the space. So much better. I am curious where the two biomes are going to connect, because you can kind of see on the flat ground, the green grass from the birch biome is kind of over here. So I was curious to see how much of this is going to be our green, vibrant sakura versus just the more classic green birch grass. That's kind of cool. Okay. I'm liking it. I'm, I'm, I am not liking this though. So I'm just gonna get rid of this little, little rocky stump guy, little boulder. And then we will start laying out where we're gonna have our build. And in our already very classic style, it's going to be lots of calcite, the sakura wood, spruce. We're going to use those as our main building palette colors. And what we're going to do is kind of how we have our starter house. The roof is going to be mainly a mix of spruce variants. So we're going to use the chipped mod for it as well. But then we're also going to have the walls be made of calcite and the trim is going to be the sakura. We won't have any brick or anything, so it's mainly just going to be spruce, sakura, and calcite. So those are the, the building blocks we're going with. But as far as the build, put these guys away for now. I don't need all of these ones. Okay, and then I'll use up these ones. So, what we're going to be doing is we're going to have the build kind of be like a rectangle. And then the door is going to be on the right side. So, this one will kind of be a wider build out on this side. And then we're going to have a different square kind of jut out a little bit, just like by one block. And the roof style that we're going for is going to... There we go. The roof style we're going for is going to kind of combine this roof style that's kind of got the more built up kind of sides with the the swooping roof like this mixed with some of how we had done this where we're using a little bit of just the stripped logs with the stairs to kind of create our, the height in our roof so we're kind of mixing these two roof shapes together and then the the, the shape of the build, the box shape, is going to be a rectangle like this. And then it'll just jet out one block over here. So it's going to be a little bit of a longer build. But let's uh, we'll grab some supplies for it. But I'm excited. I think it's going to be nice to finally have sugarcane. A cute little build for it. I'm excited to try using these sugarcane blocks and the sugar cubes as decorations. I think it'll look really, really cool. And the other thing that we need to make sure we're doing is we have the sugarcane cubes, but it looked like we needed dried kelp for it. So it's literally sugarcane dried kelp block. And if we look here, you have a kelp block as the very first one. So I think the rest are just options for it. So yeah, we're going to just cook up some kelp. That's one thing we do need. We're going to grab a bunch of spruce as we're building with that. We're going to also grab some of these brick bonded ones. We're going to grab some stairs 
we won't need as many of the stairs as just full blocks. But we'll also just grab some tiled ones. We're grabbing our shelves. We'll use a lot of shelves. Then we're going to grab a bunch of the Sakura wood. The door and trap doors we're going to use. But let me just put those in my little backpack. And then we've got those guys. We'll bring our little crafting table for us. And then... For the farm itself, we're going to need a bunch of quartz to build some of the more redstone blocks like the observers, but we'll wait on that for now. I just want to move over all of the blocks we're going to use for building. So we've got these guys, and we can make some different stairs, slabs, things of that nature. But I think this should be good to start. The decorations will come in a different phase. We'll move more of our sugarcane downstairs. But I want to map out the build itself. Is it dark outside? It's getting to be dark outside. But we're going to add in the, the outline of where it's going to go. And then we're going to kind of do what we did with the zombie farm where we first started mapping out the room for the farm and working on the farm first so that the farm can be running while we're making the build so that's kind of the plan and um just kind of waiting so till i can sleep all right so we've got all of these blocks but some of these are just like extras so i'm actually going to get this chest here and since we don't have the boulder here anymore I can just put them all here we can put that here oh I still need to go back and uh, cook up the the calcite or the, the kelp we'll put all those blocks in here put these in here and then we're using calcite for the main variants. We're also going to use the carpenter's and mason table. So let's drop off the kelp. We'll pick up our stone cutter and then we'll pick up our two chipped workbenches that we're going to be using just to have them a little bit closer. That's mostly what it's for. So I think if I put the kelp in here like so, this will work. And I grabbed the meat from here that I had. And then we'll drop off the iron. The bucket doesn't need to be in here. The buckets I always keep in my in my inventory like so. And then that can be smelting up. That's more of like a decorative thing we're gonna use kelp blocks for. So we're just gonna go grab our two chipped workbenches to bring them a little bit closer to where we're working. And then we come up here. Hello, buddy. How are you doing? Also, for being so small, they have a ton of hearts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, they have as much as me. Very impressive, little guy. Also, the way that you pick up the the tables and it kind of just shows you some weird gl like glitches. As you like pick it up, it's like showing you like previous build things just strange things okay but we've got all of these set up so then we'll have this workbench there we'll have a stone cutter there and then the mason's table can go there look at that we've got it all and then we'll take our calcite and we'll just get some all cut up we just want the regular ones for now so we'll just go like so We'll grab two, like that. Now we've got the calcite blocks. So let's get our shape figured out now. So the left side is gonna be most of where our build is going to be. So I've got my little build in creative on my second monitor so I can kind of make sure I follow the design that I really, really liked. Now, the other thing that we're going to do is we're going to have some spruce pillars. I've been using a lot of spruce pillars in the builds. However, all of these builds, I have stripped the spruce. 
in pretty much all of them. And we're not doing that this time. We're leaving them as a more highly contrasted little edge. So if we're thinking about the shape of the build and how long I want it to be where I want it to start, I think I want the build to kind of start over here on this side and then pull this way. So I like that, so we're definitely doing it that way, but I want to make sure that I get the back of the build where I want it to be so it's not going to be that crazy of like, um, it's not shoved into the wall, I don't have to terraform this. So we're doing the walls, let's do maybe one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, yeah, I think like seven. Just like this. Oh, there's your, your gradients. How it slowly uh, transitions. Now we kind of see that. But let's start here. So let me just try this. So if we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then on these sides, right, we're going to have the pillars be here. And then we're going to have the pillars be here. And then this. It's gonna be the long side. This is gonna be 14, so it's un so it's an odd, it's an even number. But usually you want odds with building in Minecraft. But we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and then we would put pillars here. And then we're doing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then the pillars would go here like so. And this side is going to come out a little bit more than the other. So this is going out to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then this comes out by one. And then we're going to do another seven. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And then one, two, three, four, five, six. And this is where I was saying we kind of like shifted over a little bit. Seven. And then these blocks get moved to be here on this corner. So this is kind of where the edge is. And then we're putting in pillars here too. And then this is going to be our entrance. But we're going to remove these three blocks for our entrance. So it's going to kind of go up like this. Like so, and then with these, we're having two, and then the stairs will go here. And then we're going to have the Sakura flooring in here as well. And then we're going to have our door, have the Sakura trap doors all around it. So the trap doors are kind of going to be on this side, so that the, the archway is kind of the first kind of layer to add more dimension and then the trap doors and the door are going to be on this side of it so that's how it's going to look i think it'll look really nice but then we're just going to kind of build this up all the way we're going to have a window with some sugarcane showing right here but we always make sure that we have these walls put in place first so then it's going to have just two tall And then we come over here and I'm out of calcite, but we're going to just continue building this up. I might actually need to go grab more calcite, which is a little scary because I just completely demolished a, uh, <laughs> a geode and I, I don't know where another one is. So there's that, super fun. I need to go adventuring for more calcite or just kind of go running around our Sakura groves and try to find more. So we'll see how that goes. But then over here, I also want there to be a window. So we're gonna kind of pass by all of this and then just come up here. And then these are just gonna be walls. So there's not gonna be anything in this back area. This is just gonna be the wall. Plus I don't really wanna have a window kind of just facing like dirt and grass. So it's not as exciting to say the least. And then there's gonna be a window on this smaller wall right here. And let's just go like so. So then if we jump down, 
This is kind of gonna be the sh build's shape. And then I wanna start adding in all of these pillars because they'll look really cool once they're in place. And the pillars are gonna be a little bit taller on the front here. So we're gonna start with just it going like so. And then I'm gonna take a nap up here as well. A little bit safer above the uh, this kind of radius of creepers and zombies and such. And then we'll just add our pillars along the entire edge. And we'll see about making these ones tall as well. I think we're gonna kind of just start getting the roof in place, doing all those things first. And then if we need to move these pillars up more, we will. And we'll just kind of build it from there. But now at least if I jump down, you can kind of see the build's shape, right? Like this is a good, good shape. This kind of feels like it's a little bit too far forward. I kind of want to push it back, but that's a lot of effort. That's a lot of just breaking the blocks down. Maybe I push it back two blocks and then we'll just have this pillar like be right where this is see how this looks in our area it does feel a little bit too far forward me literally being like i don't want to have to carve out the space but this is part of it you know kind of figuring out the space the size maybe it's okay i kind of feel like i want to just oh okay i was gonna just create a path just to like help me see if i think this is good Maybe we push it back. I kind of want to push it back. I also like how this is like across from our house because the roofs are going to be pretty similar for them. Okay, so if there's more of like a little bit of a path, does it feel better in the space? You know, I'm moving it back twice. We're moving it back two blocks. <laughs> It may sound kind of weird, but sometimes, you know, just a little pivot is all you really need. And I'm, I'm okay if it gets a little bit pushed back. We'll just take this dirt and fill this in. Oops. Grab our logs. Okay. So then this goes back two blocks, so this would go here, this would go here, we've got calcite, so this would go here, and then we're just gonna shift it. It's kind of a funny thing to shift, but at the same time, I think I'm gonna like it better being a little bit further pushed back. Ooh, didn't mean to just do that, okay. So then we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And now we begin. Just tearing this down and pushing it back to you. What's gonna be really funny is if I do this work to like, put it up, didn't like it, and then I move it two blocks back if I don't like that either. But you know, we've got XP. If our tools get a little bit more worn, we can we can move them. We can get them all, you know, we can move the builds because we've got the XP. It'll, it'll be okay. So now we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. Then pick up our blocks. And then place them there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This would be two blocks as well. 
do stuff. I think the next tool I need to make is I need levels to make an enchanted axe. And I have a diamond axe, I just need the levels for it. So I think this would be good. That's one of the next enchants I think I want to work on is just getting an enchanted axe. That'll be, I think, really helpful to have. And then we just come across here because we're making a nice little window. And then we bring this back twice. That goes like that. Remove this. And then we can kind of set these in place. See what we think of that. Mm, there we go. And then this goes here because we have these. Oops. These go right here. I think moving it back twice was good. I think this was the call. We'll just get rid of our little arches. Make sure I'm picking up all the calcite since I do kind of have a low supply right now. Alright, and then one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then those go there. And then we get rid of you. And then once we get these pillar blocks up, we'll be able to kind of see what we think of the shape and everything, and if it was indeed a good call. To move it back. Which I think I'm already gonna like it better this way. Okay, and then we'll just finish this just to make the wall look good again. And then this, it's one, these are removed, the little archways right here. Okay, so that is two blocks further back. <laughs> Ooh, yes, that was a good call. I feel like it's just such a small thing, like, oh, I'm moving it back two blocks, but to me, that actually helped a lot because I don't want this middle area to feel too crammed if I wanna like add something on this side or if we're gonna like have a build be like right here, I want the path to be kind of free and open so that I can easily just add some, some little like flower beds or different things like that. So I think this was good. Looking at it, I think moving it back was, was the right call. So now we just, uh, fill this in fully and I think I did all of the pillars all the way up did I yeah pillars are up so now we can just fill this in so we'll just get this all the way filled in I'm so excited to decorate this I had so much fun just using uh, the different uh I found some neon green candles that look really pretty oh another thing I really want to find cactus like we need to find a desert and then I want to make a cactus farm because I feel like lime green would be perfect for this. So I kind of would love to find access to a cactus, but I also am not sure how far away a desert is and I've not seen or had emeralds to get them from a wandering trader. But I have some sea pickles, so we could try to use some of those. 
But okay, we've got that. Now what we're gonna do next is the floor is made of Sakura. So we're going to put this in our offhand and scoop up the floors. And we're just scooping them up right here. Now the one thing I don't like is that the the dirt kind of temporarily it just blends with the calcite and I don't think it looks really nice. But once we get blocks in place, it does kind of connect back to the Sakura instead of the calcite and I do think that looks much better. So it temporarily looks a little bit uh, weird, but it all works out in the end. Now, how we're going to do this setup is even though this is going to be a fairly tall roof, we're gonna have a second story, but the second story is gonna be more just like seating and just more uh, windows with sugarcane in them to be more decorative. And then the farms themselves are gonna be kind of like underground. So we are going to kind of uh, build our sugarcane farms down under here but I'm kind of gonna box them in probably just so they're more contained and I'm not as um, threatened by all of the bad mobs down there, but we'll just fill it in for now, but that's the idea. So that's gonna be interesting, but at least I don't need to like hollow out the ground, you know, cause it's already kind of hollowed. So that will be helpful at least, but that's kind of my idea. So I did try to kind of figure out if I wanted to have the, uh, the actual farms be above the shop but for how many i want to make a pretty large sugarcane farm just to have extras for when we get an elytra because you know at some point i feel like we we need to do some um end exploring because the nether is really pretty i went there on a live stream and i feel like it it has to be just as beautiful in the uh, in the end and people that i've uh had say they've played better minecraft say the end is so so pretty so i think that's definitely something to try for now the other thing that we need a bit of is we need some mud so i'm thinking we'll just take some of the mud because i want to have the mud be in these front rooms and what we'll do is we'll actually take our stone cutter here and we're going to make calcite stairs now this is the idea right so if i remove these and i put the stairs here when we put mud down here we'll put trap doors around here and it'll look really nice and then we'll do the same thing in some different spots but i think it'll look really good so then if i take this spot right here and then we put some stairs here as well. And then we put some mud, right? Then we just take some water and fill this in and it'll end up uh, looking really good. So we've got buckets, which is helpful. We did not fully get rid of the pond, so we still have our little buckets. So we can just fill these in over here. Like so. And then the sugar cane can be just growing it for our window decor put that guy in there that one in there and then we need a little a few more stairs so we'll actually probably those in there i don't know why sometimes it's like separating these just regular calcite. There we go. See, it combined them here. I don't understand. The math ain't mathin' on that one, but you know, it's, it's fine. Sometimes the, the Minecraft logic is a little confusing. Alright. So we're filling these in. And then we have to go make some glass bottles so that we can convert the... At least I hope this works the same way, but we can convert this dirt into mud. I feel like it has to work the same, but we're going to test it. So we're going to grab some glass, make some bottles, you know, scoop some of them up. I hope this works. I'm literally like thinking like, how do I find mud if this doesn't work? I feel like it would have to though. I mean, come on. 
So we get three. I think we can use just three bottles for now. I don't think I'll need more than that, so we can just return that. And then we'll grab some water. We'll see how this works. We're also gonna put some sugar cane down on top of our little areas now. Test this. Okay, good, it works. I was like, uh, hopefully this works. And I decided to use the mud because I thought it would look a little bit prettier than just dirt. Like in our window, this is gonna look much nicer. And then we just convert this last one. And then when we're looking in the windows, like this looks way prettier to have just the uh, the sugar cane in the windows growing. I think it's really cool. I like it. Now I don't need any more of that. So the next thing is I wanna make our entrance. So I only need a door, but I will need a whole lot more slabs. So we'll convert those. And the slabs, well they're not slabs, planks. And then we'll make a wall. So if we put the door there. Let's try this. Yeah. And then right here. Then I do need to put a block here just so I can get this to go. Then if I remove this. This was, I think this was the vibe I was looking for. Yeah, I think that looks really nice. Look at that. So pretty. And then we'll have glass here. We're going to texture this as well. But I think now that we have the build outlined well, like we know the size, the shape, we know what it's going to end up looking like. And I really like it. I think this will be great. The other thing we're going to do next is work on the farm itself so that we can get the sugarcane auto farm all set up and working. So temporarily, we'll put all of the fun building blocks aside and we're going to need to grab redstone. We'll grab more cobblestone and we're just going to start working on the redstone collecting bits. So. We'll we'll need a lot of dirt because I'm going to use that to box in our area, but I also need a lot more redstoney bits. So we're gonna work on collecting some of those up. And then this is a regular ladder, so I can change this to be a different type of ladder for me. So we'll probably do that. But I want hoppers and we'll need some of the stuff from upstairs. I'm trying to think where I put more redstone. We need more redstone. We need to make some rails. So if I, uh, let me see the type of rails we'll need. We need these powered rails. So we need gold and redstone. So we'll take the gold. And then we're gonna make some observers, but I'm curious if I already like had some up here. I doubt I did. Okay, so we have lots of cobblestone luckily, so that won't be too difficult, but we need lots of pistons. So, let's see how we'll make pistons. So, we've got lots of wood, we've got iron. Oh, interesting, you can use a cincinite one. Okay, what I think is super cool, you can take a sticky piston and scrub off the sticky slime and make it into a piston. That's so cute. I love that. But, we're making this one. So, it's wood cobblestone, iron, and redstone. So we'll start there. We'll get some wood. So let's just use some of our just oak. And then I had a bunch of iron here. So if I grab the pistons. Oh, 
but we're going to need a lot of these. So we're going to grab more iron. Oops. Lots more iron, oh my goodness. Good thing we have an iron farm now, right? Because <laughs> we're taking a lot of these. Oh, you can use different ingots. Very interesting. Oh yeah. Um, I'm just going to make all of these. So then we would have like 11 on each side. Or if we wanted to have two layers... You know, one will have five and one will have six. The bottom one we can do more and the top one we can do less. But I think this is good. So we're going to need an equal amount of observers <laughs> to observe each of these. So if we do observers. So we've got this. Oh no. What are we missing? Oh, we'll need a lot of redstone. Okay, we're going to need to go on a little expedition to get redstone. We have enough quartz, we have enough cobblestone, so it's really just the redstone that we need. We'll, and we'll need a lot of it. And then we can make, I only need like one minecart, I think. But it will be a hopper minecart to collect everything from underground. And then we're going to need some rails. So we can just have some regular rails. We'll probably need, oh we're missing more iron. We'll probably need more of these. Because we'll need two layers, because we're going to make just like a hopper that circles around on some tracks and then grabs all of our sugar cane. And then, oh, we had some kelp blocks. That's at least good to know. our iron I'm not concerned about using this iron up because we we have the whole iron farm but we'll do this so uh, we've got the pistons we've got this we got this so we just need the redstone I think I put redstone in our mining outpost but I'm gonna go check so we'll check for that And I think it's dark, so we take a nap. Look at that. That'll be so nice. And our little sugar cane. What's also fun is we can add some patches of water out here so we can have some sugar cane kind of being like the greenery we plant around it. I think that'll look really good. But let's check for some redstone. Please have it. Oh, yes. Oh, my gosh. Uh. That's wonderful. Holy moly. That is just what we needed. I don't think I had anything else in here. I think I grabbed everything from these guys. Oh, there's some iron. Anything else? Alright, cool. Ooh, a furnace. I really want to throw this and see what happens, but I don't know how you're supposed to, like, toss it it does seem a little bit scary so i'm not going to but it is definitely something that has piqued my my interest to say the least okay so rail should be good observer all right so it's the uh the cobblestone we're running out of now which that's okay we can easily get more cobblestone we literally have so much cobblestone from mining out our different areas Cobblestone, wonderful. Okay. So then we just add 22. That should be good for starters. And then we have extra redstone dust to kind of activate the actual little, little farm there. And I th think we should be good. We've got the dirt. We're going to use dirt. I could change it all to mud, but I think that'll just take a long time. Maybe we make like an auto mud farm. That could be cool. Okay. So let's let's uh let's go back down over here. I'm gonna leave a bunch of our redstone stuff in this area just so that it's in our chests while we're building in case I like expand this. But 
Let's drop off all of the resources we don't need into this one. So these are all going to be the extras. Extras, extras. Okay, so then, um, actually, I, I need more dirt. We're going to go below and start working on this. Now, my idea was to kind of hide our entrance to the sugarcane farm down here by a block. So this is kind of going to be a ladder system to get down. So I'm going to uh, quickly go back to the other side, I think. Yeah, I have more trapdoors in here. I just want to put a trapdoor over it just so I'm not like mindlessly, casually just kind of building and then just wham, fall. So that is going to be our hidden little way to get down. Now let's take our little water thing. And I want more water. We'll make an infinite water source for down there because we're going to need to use a lot of the water. Now we're going to grab, so we've got this. This is gonna be our little system to have our minecart get powered on. Then the pistons, I think we have everything that I'll need. I'm gonna bring the redstone with me because I think I need to make the torches just to like activate it. We've got some rain coming down. I wonder if we hear the rain in the caves. We don't, okay, good to know. All right, so then, firstly, what we're gonna do is make walls here. Because then I will have a little chute to just come down the ladder to get to where we're going to be building this thing. system to get down here and then I have to kind of choose where we're setting up this farm now I feel like because this is pretty open because honestly we could set up the farm like anywhere like we could just make a flat platform just in here and kind of like hide it that way or we can just kind of keep it down underneath here and this needs to be kind of like five blocks wide so I could just build it right here and if I want to have two of these on top each other we're going to need to be a little bit more strategic about how tall and where we would put it in together so that's one thing to consider oh hi buddy hello maybe we just get rid of you yeah oh I got was a good shot. I'm actually very impressed with that shot. What about this? Oh, I was so close. Nice. Got them too. Okay. It's always, it just feels a little bit safer when you just get rid of the, the mobs, you know, you don't have to worry about them. All right. So now let's try this. So if I do two of these little sugarcane modules, each one is about six blocks tall. And this is definitely enough space, but I need five blocks wide as well. So we might dig some of this out, but if I do one, two, and then we hop up here, and then three, four, five, we've got enough room, right? We just kind of clear out some of these sides. Like so. Should work, should be good. Maybe we get rid of this. So we have one, two, three, four, and then we'll have five here. Like so. And then let's test this out. So if we go one. So if we just make this, this one wouldn't count. But then, if we try one, two, 
three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. This is eight, nine, ten. Okay, so this is ten. And if we go down to 13, I think, that's probably the best. So then we're not really clearing out like a whole lot. But then we have one, two, oh, it's harder to tell. But I think this should be good. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. This is one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12. So we'll dig down one more block, I think. So then this is the, the bottom. Because then at least there's like, we can have maybe like one space in between the farm if it's needed. And we're picking up our cobblestone from our redstone things later down the road. So like, that's still good. But once we get the sugarcane farm set up, I'm, I'm literally so excited. All the paper lanterns shall be mine. And we'll have paper to make other things too, like item frames and... Paintings. Well, I think paintings is wool, isn't it? Pretty sure. Okay, so now that we kind of got the, the height, we need to also have the, the length. So that's the next thing we're going to plan out. So if we're going... If we're going out this far, so this is to 13. And we're gonna go out, like, let's go out eight this direction. So then one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So to where this torch is, we'll kind of grab that, make sure we put our torches back up though on the wall, let's keep things from spawning. Okay, so then this will be, this will be good. And not that we like need this to be made out of dirt. I could just leave this as is. Because the main thing we just need is we need to have the rails running properly on the spots we need them to be. So we're gonna just get rid of the stone. I won't need stone. And then, actually, maybe we do use cobblestone. I feel like that will be a little bit easier. And then we can save... We have a lot of dirt, so it's not like we like need to. But we have enough dirt. So then, we're going out. One, two, three four and five so we have one two three four five and then we're going the length over here because this is pretty much just going to be the platform that we have the the rails running on so it's not like this needs to be anything specific I need to remind myself of that i'm just so paranoid there's like noises that are gonna get me in this cave but I feel like I'm pretty uh, high up, and I sp kind of spawn-proofed everything with light. Maybe just one more torch over here, for good measure. Huh? Alright, so then this platform. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, so we've got some space. So let's put down the blocks that we'll need first are going to be the, the hoppers and the chests. Did I bring the chests down? It looks like I didn't. We might have to go grab those. But the rails, so we'll do... The rails will go like so. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we can go one, two, 
like so. And then we're gonna have hoppers running here to collect it. So there's gonna be hoppers here. Actually hoppers here, hoppers here. And then the chest is gonna go here. So that's pretty close. So then let's just um, actually, we'll place a block here and then we'll run this hopper into that block over here and then over here. And then we will go grab a chest to fill in this space. But then what we wanted is to just have rails like this over the top of it. But then we need some powered rails in here to keep our minecart moving forward. So that's why we've got these guys like so. And then we're going to make a redstone torch to power these. And since we don't need to worry too much about what's on this layer, we're just gonna go like so to make sure nothing else spawns. And then we're just having the dirt be on these sides. These are the only sides that matter. So this is why I thought that doubling this would be a good idea. Just because, you know, we're gonna fill this with other things on the rest of it. So we've got this going for us. And then the hopper minecart's just gonna run the length of this and just drop it off. Then uh, we do need a lot of just regular blocks. So maybe we go back upstairs to grab some of those. I feel like that'll be a good idea. I'm also just gonna get rid of dripstone blocks. I'll make a lava farm at some point, but I don't really need that quite yet. And then we can finish our little Actually, we'll probably keep this open on this side, just because then if this is open, this is how we'll make it down. Because the ladder can go like that. Alright, so now we're going back up. Whee! Oh gosh, it's night. It's night, I don't think anything is... around. Okay, we just- we sleep. I'm always like a little bit nervous there's gonna be something like out to get to me. Okay, so I needed more blocks and I needed my chests that I had. Okay, there's the chests. I think we'll just do a two, we'll just do a double chest. We don't need more than that, but we will need, because we're doing two levels, we need four. And then I just needed extra blocks, like regular blocks to build with. And honestly, I'm gonna go grab some different blocks because I want to make sure that I keep my my special Sakura, you know, unused by everything else. Um, I'm going to also need to make more hoppers. I just remembered because we have three down there and I have two, so we just need to make one more. So then that's that sorted. And then we'll need another hopper for the minecart actually. Then we go like so to make the second one because we'll have two layers of this. And then we'll put our iron and redstone in there. We'll just bring all the chests with us. That's totally fine, but let's grab some wood that's more just like extra wood that I can use for some of the other aspects of this. We're going to use stairs to kind of be the waterlogged pieces and I would much rather use some oak and we're making the stairs out of them. That should be enough stairs, but we'll we'll just uh, we'll bring the extra wooden case. And this should be good. And then once we get this first layer in, we'll be able to add in sugar cane. And I honestly think I need to pick up more sugar cane, so I'm just gonna quickly run inside and just grab a bunch, just so that we have 
extra on hand for when we're planting it for the farm. So 46 will be more than enough. I'm so excited for this farm. It's gonna be so nice. And I might have to, because we're doing two segments of this, I might have to kind of create a, a hopper line just to pick up the ones on the second level. But I am very excited about this. So then the stairs don't get placed like that. Let's put them in our offhand. They'll go like so. In the corners, just like this. And I need a standing block. And then we just fill in the stairs all the way around. So we're gonna go like so, because we're trying to contain the water so that it's easily placed for all of our sugarcane. There we go. And then I'm gonna make an unlimited water source just because we're, we're gonna use this a lot. And then we'll just create a stair there. I think I accidentally... Okay, there we go. I thought I accidentally for a second uh, picked up the blocks that I should not have picked up for this. And then... Get those flooded. Get these flooded. And the last one. Oop, did I pick it up? There we go. Alright, so now the sugar cane can grow. Like so. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have 14, which is great because we'll have 28 which would be amazing. Now, this is the part where we're kind of moving into doing the more redstone-y parts of it. We're putting pistons and observers here, so we're gonna kind of shift our inventory around to make room for those guys. And then we'll need the redstone for the redstone dust to make the farm work. Now, I think there's just a normal block that goes here, and I kind of want it to look a little bit nicer. We also need to grab glass, because even though this is underground, I want it to look a little cute. You know, we'll, we'll let, let's use the mason's table. Let's see what kind of fun blocks we can use. I never really have used the mason's table, so it's kind of fun that we could like have some decorative block. These look like lodestones, even though it's just cobblestone. Hmm. So many fun options. I kind of like this one. This could be kind of cool to use. We're gonna just grab a bunch, but let's take a look at it. Ooh, yeah, that'll look cool below the sugar cane. Ooh, I'm excited for that. That'll be fun. Okay, so we've got those. Some cut cobblestone columns. And I'm grabbing glass. I could just not do glass. We'll do one line of glass, and then we'll kind of use some of these decorative bits to fill it in. But I do really like how just glass looks. It just looks very clean. So I want to use some of that. Alright, and then we used up our buckets. We don't need those for now. I'm going to move some of this stuff just... It's filling in my inventory so much. Okay, so then we've got cobblestone. I'm gonna grab like another two stacks just so that if we wanna make some like decorative blocks, they'll look good. But let's go add in our decorative cut cobblestone. I really like chipped mod. It's just so cool. I love how like you can just be unlimitedly creative in Minecraft in general. Like there's just so many options and then you just get cool things added like blocks, you know, like this. And it just makes it even cooler to add nice things. 
So that goes like this. And then... How do we place these? Okay, I place them on the outside. Okay. So then we go like so. Actually, yeah, we want it to cut this high. When it grows tall enough, then we kind of like cut it off. And it looks like I need another way to get up. Oh, also we can put the chests. So if I stick something in there, and if I stick something, oops. I'm just kind of wanting to test this. If I stick something in there, it ends up in here. So I did that correctly. Another piece of cobblestone, also in there. Okay, sweet. So that is done correctly. So we'll fill this back in for our own sakes. There we go. Beautiful. Did that sound like a glow squid? That was kind of cool. And then over here, we place pistons again. And then we're gonna place the observers next. So I only have, so right now I need to make more pistons and more observers, so that's super fun. Okay, so we want the observers facing out. Did I get that right? I did, okay. So the button looks like that and it faces where the sugar cane would be. So we just add these. And I'm gonna jump up here. Let me see if this still works for my height. I think it does. Let's just... Yes, okay, it's still working. I was like... Whoop! I need to be careful. Oh no! Wait, how? Why is this... Ju <laughs> just as I was like, yeah, I got it. Nope. Nope. Changed its mind. Okay. Let's go here. There we go. Oops, wrong block. I'm literally, my next step was thinking like cobblestone goes here. So I just started placing cobblestone early, which is kind of funny. You gotta admit. And then I think the, the redstone just, just goes like so. And then if I test this, ow, I just, okay, sweet. Ooh, okay. And then, oh my gosh, they blink. What? Did you guys see that? My eyes aren't crazy, are they? I swear they just blinked. Hello? I just saw you blink. Look, my eyes must be... Okay. It happened like right after I like picked up the block. Is this like a, if I don't stare at you thing? <laughs> okay, please tell me you also saw that. That was, that was just too, too cool. But I want to see him do it again. <laughs> but I don't think they're gonna. <laughs> oh, it's so random. I've never seen that. What the heck? Okay. Uh, there, they did it again. I'm not crazy. <laughs> I sound crazy because I'm like freaking out over the observers blinking. But like, they, they were blinking. They were doing it. They were doing the blinks. All right. So this is where we'll put the glass. Just so we can see a little bit. And then this is where we'll just fill this in. See, they blink! Maybe it's just much slow. Do you blink when I place blocks? Brr. 
bro, every time I just don't pay attention to them, they're blinking, and then when I'm actually like, oh my gosh, they're blinking, they're just like, shy. Hello? <laughs> so random, but it's cool. I like it, it's funny. It's very cool. All right, so then I need more of these, but then we'll put these here like so. Oh yeah, this is gonna be great. I'm excited. I'm so excited. We're getting cool things. Oh, it is night. Oh no. Anything gonna get me if I just take a snooze right here? Can we take a snooze? I feel like I'm making good progress. Like we're making the the whole thing look so pretty. Uh, let's see where those blocks went. Here we go. And then scrolling down, grab those. Okay, perfect. This works really well just to have my little uh my little waterway. Alright, and then we'll put a torch here. Oop, oh, Enderman, hello. Don't want you to see me. Alright, and then on the other side, we'll do the rest. Now, it was saying that boxing in the sides are going to help make the minecart run easier. So I think I want to do that. And then it also allows me to place some torches over here. So we're going to make this run a little bit faster, like so. And then I'm going to go like this. And then like so. And then I also want to make sure we get a torch in there. Not that anything would spawn, I just... <laughs> I want to make sure nothing will spawn. Alright, so then this side needs to get cased too. Because we're about to have some... See, look at they blinked! Okay, I'm not crazy. I've seen this multiple times. It is not me. I am not crazy. <laughs> the observers blink. <laughs> it's a thing. <laughs> And let's see, this was gonna be just solid. And this was gonna be glass. All the way. We make you look pretty. Then this was going to be this. Our little cool blocks, like so. And then I need to get up on top of this so I can fill in the top before the sugar cane goes flying. And then this can go away. And that goes here. And then we'll Put some glass probably on the top just to make it look a little nicer. So we can like see things again. So we can go like so. And then we'll fill in these sides like this. Like that. Yeah, it's kind of nice to just see it. I like that. Oh no, I'm about to get smooshed. Sneak out the sides. <laughs> Imagine if I just would have gotten pinched, just squeezed. Little, little suffocation damage by accident. Not fun, not fun. Oh wait, hang on. I wanted glass here. Alright, now I want to test it out. Do I have sugarcane in here? Okay, so if I go like so. Yay! Okay, that works. Beautiful. 
Now, I don't have anything picking up the sugarcane right now, which is the second test part. This is the fun part, I would say. All right, so now we just have to add in a little, little hopper, a little minecart. Now, if I go like so. Now, luckily, I can like lay down to push it. So let's push our little minecart, let it go. And then it should pick up, oh, look at that. It's picking up all the blocks that we forgot. <laughs> That's so good, there we go. Okay, first module complete. You can check that off the list. And then in the front here, I am going to place the pretty blocks to kind of just uh, make it look nice. So right here. This is our water source. If I grab water from here, it's infinite. All right, so this is what module one looks like, and we definitely have enough space for module two, so we're just gonna start adding that in. So now we just uh, go back to using a lot of the cobblestone. So we're gonna come back up here, and honestly, I could probably get rid of this, and then we'll just make the top part look pretty. So I think we'll do that. So let me find, this is the silk touch one. Because I think what I can do is I can just place the cobblestone directly over this. And it'll still look just fine. Like, it'll still work. So I think we'll do that. And this will become our new layer for our collection system. So we'll do that. And honestly, what I'll probably do is if we want this to look just a little prettier... We'll make this one look nice, right? Like these ones will be the decorative ones along this edge here. And we'll just put these two as nice ones as well, just cause you can kind of see them, kind of not. And then we're picking up the glass here. And even if I can't collect it up, it will get grabbed by the hopper, which works great. And then this will be pretty blocks as well. And I just need to jump up here. We'll just do it like so. And then the rest, we can make them not look as pretty. That's fine by me. Okay, so then we've got more hoppers and things to put down. So if I do this, let me just see here. So we could have the hoppers be here and the chest be here, but we would probably just straight funnel this down. So we would have tons of hoppers, right? So let's do this. We'll put this one here. We'll get the hoppers in place. And then we'll go like this, like this and like so and then we'll have the hoppers coming or the rails one two three four five so we just want it to be five so one one two three four five and then it turns like so and then one two three four five six seven I feel like I have the rails going all the way to the edge, don't I? Hmm, I can't see. But yeah, these ones would go all the way across. Oops. And then we get rid of these three. Oops. Take them back up. Oh my gosh, literally. Scroll a little bit further over red, I believe. <laughs> Powered rails. And then we'll make two more of our little torches. We just need the sticks. Redstone torch, one, two. 
And then this to make sure no mobs spawn. We take our dirt, our doit. Yeah, this is definitely, we're still doing it the same exact size, so this is good. And then the rails are just on these sides here. And then we've got stairs that go right here and right here, right here and right here. We then jump ourselves up right here. And then we're just adding these in. And same over here, and then we'll also just put this in. And I need to make more stairs. This is true. We need more stairs. Because four won't cut it. Actually, ha, look at that. That actually worked. Didn't think it would, but that works great. And now we have to do the water thing, so we can have the shuriken growing. And this will be a little bit different, just because we're way higher up. Um, we can still make it up, so it's not like it's gonna be too much extra work. And then we just get a block here. Alright. Maybe I should have made more, <laughs> more buckets. That could have been helpful. I am very excited to have this working. This is just wonderful. And so for the, the shop detail, I kind of want to make it feel like it's kind of a coffee shop. Like people can come and they can like have some drinks, just like sit there, enjoy. I want to have kind of like a little cafe style vibe to it. Kind of like people can come to like put the, the sugar from the sugar cane in their teas, in their coffees, their drinks, whatever it may be. I just thought that kind of made a really cute interior. So that's kind of the, the vibe we're going for. And I think it's gonna look really cute. It's really fun having the modded sugar cane blocks and sugar just like sugar block itself. I thought that was super fun. So I was very excited for that. Now we're gonna need to make more observers and pistons, so it's a good time. Oh, hang on, this one doesn't go here yet. We get our, our fancy blocks first. Going like so. All right, now. Pistons go like so. And then, gotta get over to the other side, using other blocks, and go like so. And this is the last module, so we, I think we just need six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, and then the observers will need more of those, so we're gonna go so and I think I set up all the observers right here yeah and then that guy set up correctly yep perfect and then I already know that this spot is going to have the redstone, but we're not going to add that quite yet. And I don't want there to be, I want this to be cobblestone, so it's all the same. So we just need one, two, three, four, five, six observers and six pistons. So we're jumping down to go get those. So now I'm going to get rid of this, just so we can kind of like see the progress. So it looks like we're going to have some sugarcane getting uh, grabbed soon because they're on the too high, which is super fun. But it's just kind of cool to see, you know, what we get for sugarcane over time. I think I will have to probably do more AFKing or what have you in that area. It is dark again. Luckily, because I'm lower, like nothing's kind of like coming out into the open, so I can just kind of sleep here. It's great. 
but we'll have to do some more like AFKing by our little place. But I think that will be perfectly fine. All right, so then we are making observers. I just needed six. So we've got those. And then the pistons, we're just gonna use this thing. And I'm missing iron and cobblestone. Uh, okay, um, there, iron. Okay, now we should be able to make them. And six, perfect. Okay, and we've got enough glass. I, I will make more of our special fun blocks. I like how I'm just calling them special fun blocks. I li There's literally a name, right? The cut cobblestone columns. I can be more professional sounding. And we're gonna cut more cut cobblestone. Ooh, this is already growing. Ugh, it's so fun. And what's really fun is like, I love when I'm building and I'm making some really pretty builds, but we also have like a functional purpose to them, like having like a farm in it. I, I just think it's great. And like, it always just looks so nice when you're done. It's also just fun to know that while I'm doing the like fun decorative parts of all of this, we're actually getting some really good like resources collected. Like I have my iron farm running now. We'll have this running. It, it's wonderful. It's just great. All right, now here we need pistons. This is what I was missing here. Ooh, that is, that is not the right. That would mess everything up. All right, perfect. Now the sugar cane can get planted here. And honestly, this is kind of convenient that this wall is here because then we can just kind of see into this, but this is fully encased for the most part, minus the top. So we can just um, not have to worry about the sugar cane kind of like falling. I do like the idea of seeing it though. So that's, that's the part I like. All right, come here. There we go. But then if we just Grab these. We'll put these in our offhand now because we're kind of using those for the most part. Then. So this is fully encased. And then. be there. We'll put that there. Those there. And then we kind of just start filling this in. I just want to check to make sure this will work though. Oh, I need to put sugar cane here too. This is the side that we need to work on more so. But if I put a block here. Okay. And then same over here. I put a block here. Oh. Okay, this should all work. I think this is all good to go. Then the top is what we would just fill in with this to make it look good. But we need even more of our cut cobblestone. I just think this is such a cool block too. Like it's so pretty. I wonder, can I crawl up things? No, okay, that would be, that would be very convenient. But I can come and crawl here. Like so, Wee. Okay, we've got all of the sugar cane here. Hee, <laughs> it's kind of fun that we can crawl. Like, look at me crawling around also it's kind of funny just how you like kind of like sh shift and like shimmy but crawling in minecraft is useful for these small spaces you know then i don't need to use a trap door i can just do it all right so this is the part we need to add the glass to make it look fancy so i want glass here Maybe we just like put glass on this entire side. I think that would actually probably look nicer. There they go, they blink again. 
I, I that's such a fun feature. I think that's so cool. All right, we're doing glass on the whole side of this because I think it'll look better. Now this is fully encased. This is fully encased. Alright, perfect. So then all we really need for this is we need more of the cut cobblestone to kind of just fill it in and make it look cute. So we'll take our shovel, we'll remove this, and then if I back up... Yeah, once I like fill the sides in, I think it'll look really nice. And we'll put glass on the sides here just so that the entire thing is kind of just mostly this lodestone type thing, but not all of it. And if I just crouch, boop. Nice. All right, let's go grab more of the block that we like. And let's see, this hasn't grabbed anything yet but it's all grown up so any any day now any moment oh and i need to get a bunch of hoppers 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 i need otherwise i'm gonna like have it just get stuck <laughs> not what i want okay so we've got a bunch of oak so we bring a bunch of hoppers Four won't be enough, but it'll get us closer. And then we'll stop by the iron farm. Literally, building an iron farm is so helpful. Especially if it's one of the first farms that you make. Because now it's like, if I build any other types of farms, just having this ready is just wonderful. Look, look at this. So much iron absolutely love it also someone in the comments mentioned that i should just use carpet to um spawn proof this instead of all the slabs that i was using and i definitely agree it was more so just because at the time i didn't have an easy way to collect the wool but now that we have some sheep in there i can breed them up and we can get some more wool a lot easier. So that's kind of the uh, other idea that I had was just, if I make an animal barn, I'll have the sheep and then we'll be good. I did not need to grab this much iron. Why did I do that? We'll make some blocks. We'll make some blocks and we'll just do iron blocks this way because then I can just press the plus sign and it'll just combine it all condense it a little bit and now for the other blocks i don't need in here we're just gonna get rid of those we'll combine that and then we want cobblestone and then i will take some of these and then we'll just make more hoppers 10 should be plenty so then we'll grab these back we'll make iron blocks again and then the other thing i wanted was more of our special cut stone so we're just grabbing all of them and then we'll have those we have some glass which should get us by for now but let's put iron blocks in here because then if i need that you know we can just grab the iron blocks so then the last things that i need to have are hoppers glass and our special stone and then our sugarcane farm should just work while we're um we're near it <gasps> yay there we go okay it's working yes okay so what i'm gonna do is just go like so just fill this in fully And then we need to find where the hoppers, I bet the hoppers, okay, we're just gonna have the hoppers be right here. There we go. Okay, so there's that hopper line. 
Oops. So we've got dirt, we've got some sugar cane in there, but that was for me, so it doesn't really count. We could just like help this farm start up a little bit faster by just us adding in some of the uh, extra sugar cane. Would probably make it look better. But for this, let's just fill this in. Make it look all pretty. Then get rid of that. And I didn't put anything above this because I was still working on grabbing some more of the blocks. So we'll just come over here. And maybe come over here. Now I could do the glass, but I think we're just going to use this since I don't have a lot of the other things. And for the sake of just making it all look the same, I'll just take this top a bit off. And we'll make it all look uniform. And then... I'll just be able to have the hopper pick up the glass. Yeah, it already picked it up, so it's perfect. And that will go there. Now the things we're getting figured out are the hoppers. So this is my tower. I think if I just do this, fill her up some more, do this, and here I should funnel it. And then if this goes there, that should do the trick. Because if I then decide to test out. We'll throw a random thing. So I know there's not going to be a bucket. So if I put a bucket in this top one and then go down, if the bucket's in there, that means all of the hoppers from this top one are working. Okay, they are. <gasps> yes. Okay, so then if I look at this from afar. So I want to put one there. It kind of looks like a very, like, creeper, but like scream face, you know, type of a thing. Now, this is where the sugar cane was. So then, whoops. We just add that. Oh, I was in the water. I was like, why am I slow all of a sudden? We put that there. And then we come over here. Put those right here. And glass right there. And then all of these corners are where we want them to be. I just need to fix the top bit and then we'll be done. Then we've got our sugarcane farm. Two layers looking really, really nice. Okay, so this should be our full aesthetic. This whole wall should just look so, so pretty and be everything we wanted it to be. So if I step back, there we go. We've got a sugarcane farm. And we can kind of see in, you know, check that they're working. But there we go. We've got four modules of a sugarcane farm working. And we've got a very um, not so pretty way to get down. But this looks great, honestly. And I'm really happy about it. So next, I don't think there's any places where like mobs are going to be able to like spawn and bother me by this. It's all just like below. But from this side, definitely not pretty. But the other side, definitely. It's very, very pretty. All right, and then we have an unlimited water source if we need that still, but there's our sugarcane farm. So I'm curious, this is all the sugarcane that I've just like picked up or like had in my hands, but let's see 
while we're building above ground again, how much sugarcane we can collect from these four modules while we do it. I should be in range, so we should just be able to kind of see what it's gonna look like. And once again, it is night, so I need to be careful. Nothing's after me, so take a snooze. Luckily, all of the mobs seem to be staying like out here more so because I've lit this area up. The only zombie that we have is for our iron farm, which is kind of funny that you can like see that. But look at our build is turning out and then we're kind of just like completing the circle, which I kind of like how in a way the waystone is kind of central-ish. I didn't even like plan for that, but just because of like how this is like a valley, it's kind of having us build all around the exterior of it. And I just happened to put the waystone kind of in the middle. So I think that's really cool. I'm not like trying to like make the waystone be like absolute central, you know, but it's kind of just like a cool layout to see kind of like develop that way. But you can see the sugar cane, I love that. But now that we, uh, we've got our sugarcane farm working, I can feel confident and good that we can just start working on our actual farm. Well, shop, it's more, it's not really like a sugarcane farm necessarily. The build is uh, more of our cute little build. So the next thing that is always the hardest <laughs> is the roof. So we're gonna like, get started on the roof trim. I feel like roof trim not like roofs overall, but roof trim. That's really what like gets me caught up. I, uh, that's the piece that I always struggle with. So we're going to work on that, but yeah, let's, let's just start working on it. I'm going to need a lot of the, the, sl the stairs. So we'll make a few more of those real quick and collect those up. We'll just do a full stack. Well, just about a stack. Do, do, do. There we go, full stack. We'll see how this does for us. And then we can kind of just use the dirt as like our pillaring block. That should be nice. So we're gonna start over here on the roof. Now, how this roof is going to look is we're going to have the roof be kind of like a taller A-frame one, kind of like how this one is where we have a taller roof but we're gonna have instead of like three blocks and then two blocks of these or like four and then three and three and one we're gonna have just one block bringing it up with a full stripped socket log and then some stairs and then another one full so that's kind of the vibe we're going for but um i guess you know we, we just gotta start at some point so uh, this is this is the start also, I just literally started thinking of High School Musical when I said this is the start. Now I'm just gonna be like humming High School Musical in my head. <laughs> uh, funny. Literally, that's all I'm gonna be thinking about. I'm not even kidding. Okay, so uh, I had one, two, three, four. Did I want this to be five? That's the question. Maybe I did want five. Let's just, let's grab some spruce. I'll just grab spruce just in case. I wanna like add these in and make them taller. Yeah, 30 should be enough. Okay, so we've got spruce. Now we can go back to building up again. And I think I do want them all to be five, which I mean, then means we might have to raise the calcite walls and I'm starting to run a little bit lower. I think I might have a little bit in my uh, my inventory, but right now we're gonna do we're gonna do this, and then we're coming out here. Now, if I go like so, this should give me the height that I want. Not the that we want the shape like that. Yep, just like so. So then we come through right here. And then... Oh no, I didn't want to strip them. Here, we hold the pickaxe instead. <laughs> That'll be much easier. Oh. No, that's where I wanted it. Okay. We got like this. 
and then they come over here and do the same thing where this goes here yeah mm, out a little bit oh don't you're on that block red don't do that <laughs> come out one or okay this should be good because then this uh evenly lines it up Okay, that should be good. Actually, I think I'm looking at my picture and I think how I had it was right here. So I think I'm gonna leave it like this because it goes in front of the block. And I think this is where I want it to be. So we'll, we'll leave it like so. We'll just um, keep it like this and then we'll get rid of this one and we'll get rid of this one. And then we start doing the little stair steppy up. And then we're just having four points. So when you look back here, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six points. So I don't even need this one right here. Cause right now, this is where we're going to add a regular socket of log. And then we go like so, and then we go up one. Flip this, oops, not like that flip that there we go and then we do another i mean not this one um, another one of these guys and strip that then we jump up here and place this and then this is where the beam is going to run across so this is kind of the the shape of this roof and then this one we're going to have the a frame shape this is where it's going to go and then they're kind of just going to like connect and kind of like meet in the middle right around here but this roof is going to go all the way across and this one kind of just merges into this one right here so that's kind of the idea so oh i almost just fell let's stay up here for a little bit longer so we have those two and these two so we've got four and then right here is where we put the sakura log we jump up here upside down a stripped log and then we go like so now these are above it so let me just see hmm i think i have this incorrect so i think this side is out too far so we're gonna just bring this one in a bit so uh what moment <laughs> We, we redo, we redo. So then if I go here, then this one comes out here. This is more so just like a, try, we'll try this. We'll see if I like this. Then we've got this. So then we get rid of this. And I don't want these to connect right now, because then we've got two, we've got four, and then we go like so. Then we've got the stripped one all ready to go. We come up here. We got this guy. We got this one. And then we've got this. So then, if we look at this... Okay, yes, so because this is now fully in line with the middle door before it was a little bit off So that was definitely the correct call now. I want to go like so And then we're going to put another stripped log like this and jump up here We're gonna come out upside down like so and then we're going to do another one like so, and then this is the last one. So it kind of juts out and curves a little bit, and I think the curves like this like really help making it feel like it's more of a fantasy style house. And then we're just going to go run the roof board along the whole length. And this will kind of just remind me of how high I need to build up. And I think it'll be good. So we're going out like so. And this is just one block off. So if calcite is here, 
So the calcite is gonna go one, two out, and then that one. So this is even, and then one, two out, and then this type of a block, and then like so. So I can kind of just keep that in mind for my, my shape, right? Because this one is even, and then it's one, two after that, not included. So this is here, and then one, two, yeah. So that's the, the top of the roof. So you can kind of get the idea, right? That's the, the roof shape. And I think it'll look really nice. I think it's fun to try different roof styles and adding in these stripped logs to just give it more height. I think I really like. I don't do it a lot, but I, I think for these type of like fantasy builds, sleep on the roof here. Look at that view. But for these fantasy style builds, I think it's fun to uh, try this style. So then we, I'm gonna jump down and pick up all these other blocks. While we've kind of, uh, we're able to grab them before they despawn. Okay, and then we come up here. So these go right across the top here and it's not this high so these ones actually stay down a bit further like so and then we just oh i did it again gotta hold a different tool so these ones just run across like so there we go all right and then we can run this up so then this is just one next to it so that's how we're doing this side as well. So then this is one, two edges, three, four edges. Did I get that? Yes, that is correct. Then we'll add in the stripped log. Go one, two, another stripped log, like so, and then one. And then I'm gonna remove this temporarily because then we're gonna go on the other side of the roof and do the other side. Now, this was kind of the tricky part because we're kind of just adding in some of the posts in the middle. So we are just kind of like making our own posts on that side on the back. So we're gonna do the posts over here. So if I come to this other side, so we're doing the posts and then there's gonna be five spaces and then the next post. So that's how we're doing this back side. So we're gonna come down here and then use our actual posts. So we have the posts here and then we've got one, two, three, four, and then five and then a post. And this is just like a solid post, like there's there's nothing else that's going to kind of like, I'm using two posts on these sides, but we're only going to use one over here. And then that lines up with this one right there. So we're going to then grab these guys. And then can I jump all the way out? There we go. Okay, so then this goes here. And we should just be able to stay even like so, right, is this even? So this is just one above and out. So we're doing that same thing, one above and we're doing one back. So then this will kind of look like that. And then we'll put our stairs in our offhand again. So it's diagonal. I'm just making sure this is also diagonal. So that's the, the look. And then we can just add in this guy. And then do this one. Side down stair. Strip to Sakura. Go stair, upside down stair. Strip to Sakura. And then we go like so. And then we do the upside down stair like that. And then we do the same thing on the other side where we slowly but surely 
add the, the top to kind of come up slowly. I'm just making sure I'm doing this correct. So then this one is here. I'm gonna go up. That one gets stripped. And then right here, we do another upside down. And that one gets stripped. And then this just becomes the solid block, like how we had the calcite. So there was one and then two. And then we have this shape fully made. And then we're just going to, let's see how I want to do this. I do like the idea of curving it out. So this would be stripped and this would be like so. And then we'll curve this up. Cause I think the curve up looks more fantasy than just straight. So we're gonna add the curve like so. And then there's our roof trim. Now, this is just going to come in a little bit from the sides before this other side of the roof gets made, but let's complete the, the roof trim on this side first. And then all we're doing is like filling it in with different variants of spruce, which I'm going to use the chipped workbench, like what I was kind of mentioning earlier, because I think it'll look way better. But we can pick up any of the blocks that have fallen, that I couldn't grab, just to be sure we got it all. And then all of the blocks should be good. So then this one just goes here, like so. And then we'll come over here. And yeah, this is gonna look so cool. Like look at how this build is gonna be. The roof line is gonna be so pretty. This one's not gonna come up the same height. It's gonna be a little bit shorter. So it's gonna come and meet up right around here. And I think that will look really good. So let's let's do some climbing again. And then this one is going to be a little bit taller. So these ones, if I grab calcite. Ooh, we're kind of low on the calcite. Do I have any more? Um, one, two, three, four, five. Actually, that's perfect. I just need one more row. So that works beautifully. So we'll go like so. And yes, these are kind of missing, but no one needs to know that they're there, okay? It, it will, it'll be a little secret. No one will suspect a thing. All right, so then on this side, what we're gonna do is we're going up to the five and then we're kind of doing a similar thing, except we're not gonna use any of these. It's just gonna be all slabs. So if I come over here and I jump up here, I, oh yeah, I'll need um, more calcite for sure. But we're going to come right here and right here. And I think this is where we want the block to be, right here. So if I go like so. We want it to be on the fifth. So then we go like this. We'll see if I decide to um, bump this up or not. Because this is kind of the, the height that we're starting at for this. But I think we'll do one more back, actually, now that I'm looking at this. So I'll move back one. Like so. And then we'll go like this. Then we'll look at this on the sides. Let me back up a little bit. So thinking of the height and where we're at with this, this is... Yeah, that, that I think will be a good height. So we're kind of starting out on the same level as this one, but we're just kind of like one block in between in a way. So then we're just gonna do all the slabs, or all the stairs, excuse me. Stairs all the way, all the way to the tippy top. And then I would say that's about central. 
So let's go to the other side before we get too far ahead of ourselves. And can I sleep? Not yet. And then same thing over here. So we're kind of putting like right there. Putting a block right here. Then we get rid of these two. And then let me just check. That, I'm kind of just like seeing where this little shape is. It's on this block, but it's like barely on this block. And that's the same case. So that means these are even. And I need more, more little, little stair guys. Oops. So we're gonna sleep down here and grab all the blocks that are falling. Also, I'm noticing I don't have a lot of torches over here, which is scary. Like, literally, like, no torches over here. Very scary. We're gonna sleep up here. Hopefully nothing can see us. <laughs> a little bit nerve-wracking. Yeah, we definitely need to fix the torch problem. I think I have coal. Yes. We're gonna we're gonna torch this up right now. Uh, I don't want things spawning overnight and then me not seeing them, and then I wake up and then it blows up my place. Not what we're going for. And I need to make stairs for this so that it looks decent. Okay. So I'm gonna quickly come up here and just add some torches up around here just so that nothing can get closer to me in spawning that's like the main thing we'll just add some back here to keep things from spawning too close okay this already feels a lot better just so that i'm feeling safer nothing's gonna get us but uh i definitely don't want zombies skeletons or creepers coming to me, but mostly it's just the creepers that I'm, like, actually concerned about. Okay, so I think 20 should be good. Because we're really just finishing this side, so let's just pillar our way up. And then we're gonna just jump across. We can make it. We'll be fine. It'll, it'll work out. And then... Who are these? <gasps> Raw iron blocks. Ooh, that is a pretty shade. Also, the fact that you can have netherite iron ingots. This, this is nuts. Oh my gosh, advanced netherite. Yeah, no kidding. Digging speed, harvest level. Whoa, that's so cool. Hello. Oh, that's a unique feature. It like makes them better. Oh my gosh, improving netherite. It was already good, but so like, what a concept. <laughs> jumping. Jumping up. Okay. So then we're just gonna do all of the little pillaring. Alright, so then right around here, we're even. We, we, we're exactly even with everything. So then what I want to do is go like so. And then, for this, we're gonna grab these guys. And then, we're jumping up. Going like so. And we're going like so. And then, we're pillaring all the way over. And I need to make more of these. But I don't need a whole lot more. And I'm gonna leave this for now just because we're going to decorate this roof line more and this roof line more. But this is what we have. There we go. We've got our little roof made. And like I was saying, it is a little bit different of a roof because I wanted this roof to be taller. So if we would have just done all of these slabs, this roof would have been the same height. But if you want your roof to be a little bit taller on one side of it versus a different one, throw in some of these whole blocks and like you can even use just like regular planks like these you know but just a full block just adds some height to it and then to help with the roof you always will put the full block on top of an upside down stair so you would do a normal stair an upside down stair and your full block and then you would do a normal stair and then the same thing but that's really gonna give your roof a little bit of height if you're trying to have two different roof 
levels for your kind of like sight lines on it. But now we can just add in the stairs on this side and then we just get to move on to adding a bunch of just variants of spruce. But I think I realized um, that I need more, more stairs again. <laughs> We're just running out of the stairs all over again, but that is a-okay. So we can always get to more. Okay, well we got that side. And then we come over here. Oof, I had a feeling I was gonna miss. That's okay, I don't need this pillar anymore. And then, uh, let's see, we'll make more stairs. And we'll add those in. I think this should be good, but we'll just make some extras in case. So then we've got those. And then we'll come back and start filling in with the spruce. That's gonna kind of be like phase two in a way. We just wanna get the roof trim in first. And then there's this, so we can fill these sides in here, like so. And like so. Ah, I did it again. Oh no. I guess we do have to do more pillaring up. Fix that. Oh, I, yep. Okay, I'm fine. I'm glad I have feather falling. <laughs> I, I need to get a uh, mending on this though. That's, that's what's gonna help me the most. And grab that block. And now we can just do the full length. Now the back side is a little bit tricky because we're kind of just blending it, but it's also coming out from this side. So it's a little bit odd. So we might need to switch that around, but we'll just kind of see for now. We'll just leave it and see how we want to change it later on but we've got the roof lines in where we wanted them to be. Now I'm gonna just take down my dirt pillar and then let's uh, fill in some, some good old spruce. Let's fill in our roof, which I think this part is definitely fun just because we can kind of just try some different modded ones, see what we think of those. But I'm gonna just turn all of these into different variants and then we can look at what we want our roof to be. I think there's one that's technically like shingles, which I'd be curious to see what that one looks like if I can find it. Or maybe it's not. I don't think they're they're in this one, but that's okay. So we could try some vertical spruce planks kind of different because if we look at these right so we have those planks and we have regular planks so this is the regular plank and now it goes up and down right so just different different uh angles i think i want to add some vertical ones so we'll make a few more of the vertical ones that sounds like a cool cool thing to have hewn could also be nice let's see what a hewn one looks like next to the vertical Oh, it's just a little bit bigger. Okay, that could be nice. So hewn and vertical, I think are the ones that I wanna use the most of. So we'll get a bunch of hewn. And then we'll get vertical. Now I'm grabbing a lot of them just because this is gonna be our entire roof, not just one part. So we do kind of have to just full send it on uh, getting all the blocks to make this look good. So we'll just put those in. And then I think vertical and hewn were the main ones that I wanted. Smooth, what's the smooth one? Oh, sure. Now, if this is our roof palette, that's really not a lot of variation, which is why I thought that I had placed Oh, these ones, the brick bonded. So I I don't really like the smooth one. The brick bonded though adds some color texture. 
So I think I like the idea of having some colored texture, but I also want to have some of these be more like smooth. And there were some like these fine vertical ones that made it look more smooth with the polished. But I don't know if I like the idea of the polished ones. So maybe we'll look at the pegged ones. Let's see how pegged looks. Ooh, no, that'll look kind of funny on the roof. All right, so pegged is a no-go. We don't want those for the roof. But it's kind of fun just to like get to see what some options are. I think it's kind of cool just to have different variations, but I definitely want more of the brick bonded. Those are probably my favorite ones just because I like how it adds some color to the roof and it's not just some more solid colors. But the pegged I don't like, so I don't think I'll like the panels. Maybe we mix in some of the polished in like some spots, not a whole lot, but we'll put the pegged away. I don't want those the stacked spruce. Um, I don't really think I want those, but the brick bonded, I'm looking at the top left corner, hewn, vertical spruce, and then our regular planks. So that's going to be what our roof is made from. And then we're just going to have normal spruce as well. Uh, the smooth one is also one that I did not want, so the pegged, these two I don't like at all. And then mostly regular planks is going to be the, the default. So we'll put those in our offhand, and then we can put dirt, and we just fill her in. I don't know why I went up so high, but that's okay. Alright, so now I could be using the stairs, but I'm using full blocks for this entire thing. So I think the I could just use stairs and slabs but i wanted to try using full blocks and i think it'll look good once i sleep we, we gotta sweep i feel like we've been pretty good about not having a lot of bad guy bad guys bad mobs coming for us so that's that gives me hope we got something going on right And the brick bonded ones are here too. And then we mostly have these ones. These are just regular ones. So then that's kind of what it's going to look like a little bit. And then we'll pull in some of these. Now, some of these aren't even going to like show up. So I'm probably going to get rid of this little section here because they're all going to get covered up. So even like right here, right? Like these are getting covered up. So then I can go like so. But look at that, even just like different angles and colors. Ugh, oh, this looks so good. I love the chipped mod for this reason. It's just so cool. And if I do the hewn ones, and then we do some more of just regulars. And then if we do some of these, and then we do a little bit of that, a little bit of these. See, I think having the polished ones just a little bit scattered looks nice, but too much of it would be uh, overwhelming, I would say. All right, so this is where the roof will meet up. So then this can be tall. We need, we need one more block of the sakura right there but then that is like the full side of our roof like look at that and then we'll add some leaves yeah look at our little sugarcane shop it's so cute i love it and can just like imagine right like at the beginning this was a hole <laughs> this was a straight hole and now not only do we have a hidden sugarcane farm with four modules but the build is well underway 
Like, that's so fun. And then just, like, looking at our area from further away and looking at our map, we're getting the build added in. So fun. I love it. It's so fun to kind of just, like, see a space, like, slowly come together. I love it so much. Just, just the best. All right, and then we're doing the same thing where we just have some of these. Then those meet up there. And then this one, we'll do these hewn ones here. And then we'll get some normal ones. And then we'll do that. We'll get some of the red ones coming in here. It's not that. And then let's do... Oops, not those ones. I wanted the red one. Like that. And then we'll just come down here. And let's see, I just did regular ones. So let's do some polished over here. And then some regular ones. And these hewn ones are kind of going to meet up soon. They're the tiled. So we'll go like so. Then we'll come in here. Do some regulars. We just did hewn, so we'll do some vertical right here. And we'll do regular right there. And if we come and look at this, polished should go in this corner then, next. So like polished ones right here. And those should be regular right here. And then look at that. That looks so good. Very, very nice next to each other. And then we got the red. So then the red's kind of like coming in along this side here. So then this backside is all done and looking good. And it'll look even better with the leaves. And we'll fix that up. Now we can just go to the other side. So we're going to... We need more of the... We need more blocks, so we're gonna go and grab them. I also need one piece of Sakura, just plank. So the polished one is what I need more of, so we'll just grab these. Carpenters. I need more polished. And then what other ones should we get? Tiled, we'll grab some more tiled. Once I find them. We'll grab some more brick bonded ones. Put those back in. And then find the tiled ones. Tiled spruce, tiled spruce. So this is the one that we were using. I think for these ones we'll be good because we still have just one side left. Doing these three sides was going to be the most intensive. So I think we'll have enough. So let's just put these back. And then start working on this. Oh, and I need the, the one, the one little log. But we'll take five just to be safe so I don't have to go back and get more. And then we can just jump up here instead. And we'll grab that one. I feel like this has the potential to be like the, the pearlescent moon. Just like everyone goes through the trap doors instead of the door. But, you know, it's just me. So no one, no one will get confused unless I get confused. <laughs> Which is kind of funny. Alright, and then the polished ones will go here. And then we'll get some hewn going here. Like so. And then... We'll get some red ones right here. Some regular ones. And then these are hewn, so maybe we do... Let's do the tile right there. And then we can go like so. The tiled ones. And then, let's see, we've got some polished there, so let's put some polished up here. And then, like so. And then, let's see, which ones should we do next? Let's do some regular. 
And then I haven't done the hewn or the, it's the vertical I haven't done. So we'll do a vertical like so. And those are just regular. So this is regular spruce and this is hewn. So if I move to the side here, we're gonna see what, what we should put here. This is, I think, yeah, that's okay to have these two just regular ones next to each other. So I think what I'm gonna do is we need some more red because I only have that one patch of red. So that's what we're gonna put here. So then we can kind of see how that looks. Yeah, that was definitely a good call. All right, look at that. The roof is completed. Now we're just gonna hop up there and uh, fix the one little guy. Just add a little friend and hop up there. Pop up there, and then... Perfect. So then we've got that. So then the next thing we're gonna do is we're going to make the tops of these roof lines look a little bit better. I probably should have just grabbed this while I was thinking of it, but we're going to grab some slabs and then just put one every other across this roof line and across this roof line because that's gonna make this look a lot better. And it is also kind of what I've done on this roof line over here. And then we're also going to do a similar thing where there's slabs on the top and the bottom of the main cross beam of slabs. So that's kind of how we're going to add some more interesting detail across the front of these. And we do need more calcite. So that that is the one thing I need to go and grab more of is calcite because I, I definitely don't have enough but the, the roof is done. Then after the roof, once we get these little slab guys added on, I, I think then we can move on to filling in the calcite. So we're gonna get the calcite and the roof slabs done at the same time. So we're just gonna put these all in there because we don't need these anymore. So let's go grab more calcite, because I literally think polished calcite. Yeah, that's the uh, the only calcite I have. Everything else. So we'll grab more calcite. But look at this, it's looking so good. I'm so excited. And we should just take a little look-see at how our, our sugarcane farm is working. Now, I know I have two ladders, and I can change what this looks like. Then we needed calcite. So we'll grab our calcite. Okay, we still got a, a decent amount. We don't have a lot left, but it'll work for now. And then I'm gonna grab some extra oak because we're gonna be just using some regular blocks for different things. I don't think I need any of the, the slabs that are spruce or anything, but we're filling the inside up. Glass will need more of pretty soon here, so if I have sand at all... We might need to go looking for some sand to get glass, because I don't think I have enough glass right now. And it is definitely dark enough to sleep. I love the particles in our area. I'll never get tired of how many particles are just floating about in our space. So, so exciting. All right, now this ladder can be changed because it was defaulted to a normal ladder and I wanna have these mossy ones. So this is what we're going to make and we're gonna make more ladders. So we're gonna go like so, put some in the middle, go like so. And I think the 12 should be good and then we'll make these. So this is gonna be going down on the inside, down to our farm. So then we'll put the ladders right there. And then we're kind of just adding them in. Nice, okay. So let's just take a look. <gasps> 33, okay, not too bad. Not bad at all. This does look so cool. I wish I could have like hid this. Maybe we can take trapdoors or something, but this does look really cool. And we could make like a 
prettier way to get down here, but literally, if this is all I need to do is just go check that, like, doesn't need to be anything too fancy, and then we've got our nice little way to get down, and that's really all I need. So I, I feel good about that. I'm, I'm, I'm cool with that. Now, this would be a window where we just have glass there. We've got some calcite, so we're gonna go on the outside and fill this in and fill our other sides in. So we'll just kind of come up here. And then fill them in like so. Just like that. And we are going to add in some different window type things. So that is still gonna be a part of things. I feel like you kind of need to have windows on a cool build like this. But I think next we're going to add, so right around here, I'm kind of thinking out loud, we could put the, the trim, but we could put some stairs. But I think we'll do like so. Across this. And this could become a stairs. And then I want my pickaxe. Doesn't really matter which pickaxe at this point. But then this will be a full block. So actually, maybe it should have been. So if we make. This be where we have the trap doors, right here. Then this would kind of come across here. So it's kind of like touching this. So we're gonna put stairs here. So let's uh, let's grab some trap doors while we're at it because we are gonna use them. So we'll just grab some extra and I think, no, we didn't have any else in there. Okay, we'll grab these stairs though because I don't need to make the stairs then. But we'll swap these out. We'll make more trap doors. Perfect. Okay, so now we're gonna pull her up again. Actually, I don't need to pull her quite yet. We're gonna go like so. So this is kind of the first trim. And then we're going to have a little window. It's not gonna be a very big one, but we'll have a window there. And then we're just gonna pull her up. So then we'll have a block. Maybe we go up three. And then look, this will be the inside and then we'll put a roof in. So we get a little second layer, but it's not gonna be a very large second level, but it'll be a little something, a little something nice. And then I'm thinking we just go with the trap doors, kind of every other like that. And that's really all I want for this side of things. So that's done. So then if we take a step back, it's kind of just like a fun little roof line. And then we'll add some lanterns in here. Now for the sides, I really just need to fix up the calcite, but I realized that we haven't really textured with the calcite yet. So let's take some of this. And I think I just wanted to use the brick version, but let's take a look at what the other options are in case something else grabs our attention there's an eroded so that could just make some like flat texture to it which could be cool there's a sanded so that could also be nice wait rounded bricks interesting let's check that out because all i really want to do is have like a, a fun texture to this so i think let's just try these out so we've got this one, this one. I feel like I'm curious how that gets rounded, you know? And then that's the, the real calcite. So the things I don't really want are the harsh lines. So I don't want the polish. I feel like the polished always has the darker sides and I want it to just blend in better, so we won't do that one. I feel like I don't like this eroded one, so we'll get rid of that. 
I kind of like the rounded one, so maybe we do these ones. So if I move these, so we've got rounded. So rounded and sanded. So we'll grab a few more of those and see what they look like. So that's eroded. This is sanded. So we'll grab some of these. And that's rounded. We'll grab some of these. Now we can kind of see what it's going to look like. So there's, that's how that would look. And then this one. Yeah, I think that's a nice, like, wall texture. I actually really like that. Yeah, that, that's what we got. That's that's the, the final... The final answer. That's what we're doing. Rounded and sanded calcite. So we just gotta make a bunch more of those. So sanded. And then round... Oop, that's offset. Rounded, there we go. And then these other ones, I'm not a fan of. So not the polished, not the eroded. Calcite bricks were all right, but we are mainly using these. So let's just do some of this. And since I already know that I'm using these ones, we're gonna add these into our inventory for extra blocks. But I have the bricks in my inventory right now. Oh, we'll fix that. Ooh. Oh no, hang on. I can't have no torches. I need to have light. And then we can go like so and add in the sanded. And then we'll add in the bricks. Oh no, wait, hey god, this was not supposed to be there. These ones on the bottom have to stay like so. And then I need a water bucket because the ones on the bottom are actually just stairs. So I could make the stairs be matching this rounded calcite. But we'll just leave it for now. And then the side can become the, the bricks. And then we'll do the same thing over here. So blending that in. And then I can kind of just get up a little bit higher. And then we can add in some regular... And if I come over here, the sand it. All right, so then I don't need the shovel, or I do need the shovel, I don't need the ax. So now let's take a look at how that looks. Yeah, look at that, I really like that texture. Literally just texture on builds, just 10 out of 10, just makes it look so, so nice. And then we'll add an eroded. I don't need like a ton of texture. I just want a little bit of extra. Doesn't need to be crazy. Just a little bit. And then we'll come over here with the sand in. And then we've got the bricks. Then I think we'll leave that for now. And then we need more of the brick ones. We're running out of those. Should have grabbed more. Round brick. Sanded. Okay, so then we'll add these back in our offhand. Fix these up. This wall I think looks good. We'll also have a beam across here to break it up. And then we're also gonna have calcite be up here as well. But I just wanna break break up the this main first level first. Oh, did you notice a grass change? I think we're in fall. Yeah, look, all of all of the birch leaves changed. It's becoming fall again. It's kind of fun that there's like seasons. It's also kind of funny that like my area doesn't change, but this is like a default forest and so is the dark oak. The ants are about starting to collect for winter. I love the ants, they're so cute. Just cute little guys. 
cute little dudes so cute okay now this is just gonna be a straight wall so we can go like this we'll do sanded right here and then we'll do sanded right here and i'm gonna sneak in here and grab these blocks and put down a torch i should probably just put the torches on the walls but i I was just working on texturing, so I would probably accidentally, like, remove the torch. Alright, but then the sanded calcite can go there. And then, I would say we'll put a little bit of the brick right there, and call that good. And then if I move this... Yeah, I like that. I think that's good. Yeah. Next wall. Then we'll do this with the banded, like that. And then let's see here. I would say we put a little bit of sanded over here. So maybe these two can be sanded like so. And then let's put some like one or two sanded on the bottom. I think we'll just put one and then we can look at that if we remove yeah i think that's good for starters and then we'll come around to the other side and get this wall oh i forgot about the stair thing i did it again i did it again dang it come here we put the water back let's go Okay, now we um, take our buckets. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Fill this in again. Oh, it, it filled the length. Okay, well, that works. Alright, take that all back. Banded, we'll do this. Beautiful. Okay, and I think we got all of the roof, or the roofs and the walls are done. They're all textured and looking good. So we come from back here. Oh, I really just want to put something textured there, but I don't want to mess it up. I don't want to ruin it. But maybe, what if I do this? Uh, I think it was the stone cutter. All right, the stone cutter can give us different versions. I feel like the calcite. Yeah, okay, let's just use this. Cracked, just use the regular bricks. It'll just give me something that's different. I think it'll just break this up because right now it's just the bottom is a little too much for me. So then, if I look at this... Ooh, I don't know if I like that at all. Maybe because there's a, like, brick there. I actually think I preferred the other ones. Um, funny. Funny enough. Alright. And the water is across the whole way. Perfect. We're just gonna leave that, and then we're gonna start working on more of the inside. I do need to fill this. This is filled in. I do need to fill this side in. So we'll pillar up for that. And then these will get filled in as well. but we'll, we'll just do this all the way for now. And this is actually just gonna be like, I wanna do like three. So it kind of gets framed in, but this is kind of what I'm thinking. Ow. 
So if I come up here, that's the idea. And then we'll have one free row, and then we're gonna have the the slabs in Sakata coming across here. So that's the idea. And then we need to fill that roof side in as well. For now, let's just grab some of the Sakata since I I put it back. I didn't need to put it back, but I did. And then we'll grab some of these guys. And that should be good for now. So with this, we've got a full block right here. And then kind of do some full blocks. So let's grab some of those. And then let's do the dirt over here and I need my food again. And we'll pull her up. One there and one there. And grab this. Now there's one solid block and then some trap doors on top of this, like so. And then we're kind of just gonna do this all the way across. But then the trap doors are kind of every other, like so. So there's only three trap doors. Hmm, but I kind of want this to like e be even, so we would go like this. So it matches, so then that would go like this. So then I can jump up here and get rid of this. Okay, and then that looks like that. Now I could bring the calcite forward. Maybe we do that. Let's move the calcite forward. Ooh, this does stay though. Like this. And then... Put that there. Then the calcite is like this. So then this is our window of three. So I jump down here and back up a bit. Yeah, then it's even with the roof trim and then we still get our little window, which will look really good. And then on the bottom, I think, is the next part that we're going to be working on. So I can just actually take my little pillar and move down. And then we're just going to do a little bit of every other. I feel like that's like kind of the easiest thing. But if we do one here, one here, one here, and one here, like so. Then back here, we could put some like lanterns. Or if we want, this kind of breaks it up and makes it look interesting. We can go like that. And then the last wall to fill in is over here. And I think I want these to be all the way up. I feel like that's going to probably work the best. And then we'll come in here. And we'll put calcite across. And then the window for this side, I think we're going to make it look a little different. I'm gonna have just like a tiny baby window and it's not going to be very big, but then we're gonna have, let's just move out this out one. We're gonna have this roof line match so that this will actually be the calcite again. Like so. 
So on the inside, we can just uh, fix this so that the calcite doesn't come out this far. Ooh, it's echoey in here. It's kind of fun. So then this is our calcite. But it's just going to be a little baby one. So it's not going to be like a big, big, big shape. And then underneath... We're gonna do the same thing. Oh, it is dark. Let's let's sleep quickly. I don't want anything coming towards me. I can see there's like skeletons nearby, so we're gonna be careful. Be very careful. Alright, so then full blocks. We got those. There we go. And that matches up. And then underneath, we'll grab instead. Actually, I did need the shovel. We don't need to worry about as much detail back here, because literally this is just going to be a wall, so I need to remind myself like, this is just the wall, Red. It don't need to be super cute. It's just a wall. But I think it's still nice to make the, the builds, you know, look good. So we've got this going all the way under. And then, if we make these edges go down, then every other will be like so. And then we can have this like so, and then have one go down like this, and then the back ones. Oh, that is not the, not the correct shape like that. I need to hop up, you know, get a further away to see. Yeah, I think this will be good. And then that's the last one. And then this one goes in the back right there. All right. So then the only things we need to add into the back are just lights. Lights and leaves go on the back, but we've got this all figured out. So, oh, I need to... <laughs> Oh yeah, we are also going to add to the the top of this. I'm glad I remembered that. I'm glad I left the <laughs> left the dirt cuz literally the dirt reminded me that we were going to do this. But all I'm doing is every other adding a slab. Just adds a little bit and it makes it look really good. So then I don't need this. I will take that. We jump up here. Get rid of that dirt. And then we can go every other. Oh no. Okay, it did give me the stair back, I noticed. Or the slab. And then, when we look back... I kind of want to cover this, because it looks a little funny. So let's try switching this out. So if, instead, I did one here and here. Hmm. So it's either this style of the roof or just a little bit different, but that style. I feel like I like that better. We're gonna switch. We're switching it up. I'm curious how this is gonna end up looking. I guess I didn't need to do that. Alright, let's try this. I have a feeling in the middle it's it's gonna get a little funky. Yep, in the middle it's gonna get funky. So maybe I can't do this. Unless we can kind of stagger this differently. So maybe we do like, let's do, let's try this. We'll do every other. And then, yeah, cause even that doesn't look good. It throws it off. All right, I, I want this to look good. So we're going to go back to how we had it. Not like this. Every other. Like that. Like that. Like these. Actually. 
Yeah, they need to be the same though. So like, we uh, we do change these. All right. Wait, why did that? Hello. Wait, did I just not? Is this just weird either way? I don't know how it happened. I'm just resetting all of these from one side. I know it doesn't really matter too much. But I might have just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Okay, that's why it's sixteen. So it's even. I need it to be odd. Oh right, that that makes more sense then. Okay. Okay, that's that's kind of annoying. So maybe we don't do that with the roof. Maybe we do a different style of roof. That might be easier for me. Um, kind of wish I would have paid attention to that, but it's fine. So let's try a different approach, okay? We're going to, instead of doing an every other, let's try like slowly sloping it, yeah? See how that works. So we pick all these up. And then let's look at this. So if I do one, two, and then make this third one slabs. So I've got one, two, and then these become slabs. So if I totally get rid of this, minus these two. So we get rid of these. And then these become slabs. We do... We'll see about two slabs if we think that looks good. It will look a little funky. It's not going to be completely even. But I think this is going to be the best we can do. So then if we go like this. And then it's just kind of slanted. I feel like... This is less obvious that it's a little uneven than in every other situation, because every other is pretty easy to tell, like, oh, that's definitely off. But I feel like this makes it a little bit harder to tell, and I, I think it looks like a good roof shape for our fantasy style. We're just, we're just, um, yeah, there's, there's three in the middle. This is even. We got it to be even. Just putting three. It worked out. So I'm, I'm happy about that. One, two, three. Hang on. One, two. Yeah, this is where we made it um, not match up was with the slabs. But you can't really tell. So we're going to leave it. It's fine. It, lo it looks great. It looks great. I love it. So fun. Um, I think I'm going to leave. I do need to come back up here with leaves, but we don't have enough right now. But the leaves are going to be the last thing. I want to kind of start moving into decorating the inside because that's the fun part. And we're going to need a lot of trap doors because I want to kind of cover these up. And then we do need to finish just boxing this in, getting the second level set up. I'm going to have some of the beams on the inside be like right here. so and then we need a second layer we need a second level so we're gonna work on that so i can put my we'll put the calcite away if it's not regular calcite all right so regular calcite can stay oak goes we need regular spruce that's gonna be what's in our offhand and then we're going to need these spruce shelves and then we've got the shelves that can go in. Oh, it's already raining. What do you know? And then we're gonna finish boxing this in like so. And then let's do the ceiling. So our offhand. So we have one, two, three, four, and the ceiling's gonna go here. So kind of we don't need to really worry about some of the calcite. 
just because we're just having our ceiling in it. But it's it's very um it's dark, so we're going to sleep. Then we can finish adding in our roof here. Well, I should say our ceiling more so than a roof. And then that will go there. And then we are going to add in a ladder here too. Now we need to make more ladders than just these two. So we've got sticks. And then we have our ladders. And we'll make these into the overgrown ones. 11 is definitely enough. So this will be our ladder to get up. So then We'll put our flooring all around here. And we'll just totally fill this in. I do want to add some torches up there. Just for safety. There we go. And this is going to be the wall. So I can actually just start adding in the, the wall from up here. And then we just go and get more spruce. And we can add some of the brick ones to our flooring to add some dimension or the vertical ones. The vertical ones could look good too. We're gonna make a lot more of the trapdoors because we have to box in our sugar cane. Ooh. Those are connected, so be careful of that. Ooh, that was the perfect amount. Lovely. So that's done. We've got our door. I'm going to put a light right there. Now we can add in some different flooring. Which, if that's the case, we don't ne necessarily need to have all this extra spruce. Although it is helpful. So for our floor, let's break this up. We'll do some verticals just to give more texture. And then we're adding... And then let's add in some of these other lower textures. So we've got some floor texture here. We'll add some of the red texture over here. I'm not gonna have too much but let's just take a look oh that's a little too dark i definitely need some light to to see how this is gonna look and i don't need to add roof or floor texture here because this wall is going to be filled in with blocks making our narrow kind of hallway cafe area 
And then we can get rid of these two and do the same thing. So then this is our official room. Now I can add some texture onto these walls just because this is the roof. So I can't try to bump any of these back because these are literally the wall textures. So I need to be careful with that. But I think we can add in some of the red here. I don't need a whole lot. And then we'll add in some of the red over here. Just like so. And then we'll add that in as our floor. And then this is where we're going to actually have more sugar cane. So these are going to be stairs instead of full blocks so that we can then have these here. We'll add some more of our little trap doors here. And then we're also going to have just a little guy here and here. So then, Actually, did I decide to put this in the ceiling? I think I did. So this is going to be in the ceiling. So if I, I don't have any. So this will become where we end up setting up some of the sugar cane on. And then this is going to be a stair. So it'll work just fine. And then we'll put bamboo on these sides. And then this is also going to be some stairs just kind of peeking out here. But I think I want to open this up a little bit more so that we'll have some sugar cane here, stairs here. So I kind of need to remove these. So I need three stairs, four stairs, seven stairs. So we'll get those and then clean up this bottom level of all of the extra blocks that we had. Perfect. And then with our little stone cutter, we just grab all the stairs and then we have water and we have sugar cane, but I don't have as much sugar cane as I had before. So then we just quickly jump up here, add in the stairs, add in a stair, and then we have water buckets. So this will go here, sugarcane there, and these stairs go right here. And then we go and grab more buckets of water. So I need two more buckets. Yeah, I need a lot more buckets. I need five more buckets. But what will be really cool is they'll start to see just sugar cane in the windows, which is the main idea, is that there'll be pops of green kind of on the inside and we'll have little, little patches that'll be on the outside as well. And I think it'll look really nice when we're all done. So I'm excited for it. And then if we get some lime green candles, it'll look so pretty as well. So then we have this one. So this is fully done. Then we just need glass here and trapdoors. Trapdoors for sure. Then bamboo goes there, trapdoors. So we just need three, six, nine trapdoors up here. And then we're going to need a few more buckets. I think we need three buckets. So we'll grab some trapdoors. And then a few more trapdoors. I wish there was a way where you could make just one trapdoor. I think that would be very helpful. So we've got these guys. Ooh, I need more sugar cane. So I guess we can go down to our farm. But this row is completely done and looking good. So we can get those all sorted. We'll do these like so. And then bamboo there. And then trapdoors there. So I just need one more bucket of water. 
And then it's really just adding in some of like the decorations, the furniture, we're adding lots of leaves into the build as well. So it's gonna be very overgrown. So similarly to how our zombie XP farm was very overgrown. Got all the water there. Did I get all the water there? Oh, I guess I did get it all. I didn't think I did. Okay, it was just the, uh, I just needed to have the sugar cane. Which we can just grab them from there, which works out. Oh, interesting. So the sugarcane is kind of in a different biome. Birch forest. So that's why this looks different than these. Well, I guess I'm kind of glad that's in the back because I like the vibrant green that we get in the Sakura grove. I think it's more of like a fun pop. So that's kind of funny that that's the case. It makes sense though. Now, one thing that I was thinking, even though the dirt is, like, it looks decent, I kind of like the idea of having it be mud. So we might add some mud. But I also want this to be all the way up. So that it looks good. <laughs> and I'm curious. If we were to swap this out and just have it be regular like that how would that look oh that looks fine i think that looks just fine all right so now oh, i need to hop up in here Oop. so now we've got these shelves and now i want to use the shelves upstairs and downstairs but i also want to have some seeding in spruce so a lot of the decorations are now going to be made from spruce so i'll definitely need a lot more of these now, if I show you the spruce accessories, I want to add some of these tables. So we'll get some tables. I think three should be plenty. I also liked these little stools. I think the stools are really cute. So we need slabs to make them. So we'll go like so. And then we can make our little stools. They're so, so cute. Wait, better nether stools. Interesting. All right. Well, I guess that's this is how you make the stools. So that works great. So we've got six and three. So that's actually perfect. And then I did want to have a bunch of barrels. So we're going to have barrels and chests. So we'll grab the barrels first. Why did that make that? This is not a barrel. <laughs> Why did it do that? That's silly. Okay, well, it's just slabs on the top and the bottom. Okay, now they're there. That was that was very strange. Not exactly sure why that happened, but it happened. So then we'll have some barrels. And then I want to have a bunch of chests, and I think, yeah, I only had one. But what's nice is I can use some of the oak wood to use for our chests instead kind of saving our spruce as much as possible so now we have five i think i want more than that so we'll just fully grab all of this oak and make chests out of it so then we're decorating with some spruce shelves we're putting some chests on said shelves some barrels around it i want to get lime green candles but i think i need different dyes and then we're gonna have potted plants then we can kind of have these little little stool guys uh, in different spots, and it's gonna be so cute. So we'll just uh, try using these now. So where we're going to put our little, little tables, we're gonna put a table right here with a stool right here and right here. And then this is kind of gonna be our little way to get down, except I don't like how, uh, Maybe, yeah, I don't have a, I don't have an axe right now, otherwise I would. But then we can kind of just take these and put one here. We'll put some barrels, different layouts, different setups and positions. Then we can go like one, two, three, four, and then have this kind of be like a bigger shelf where we can have some of the supplies at our shop. And then we can put 
Oh no, I forgot. <laughs> um. Okay, one second. One second. Um, we go like so. Yep. And I. Okay, here's my idea. So I forgot that these shelves, <laughs> unless you have like something. It's always going to try to place them in, like, very small setups, so I have to do it this way. This is the one thing I was, like, figuring out, because they're shelves. I can place things on the shelves, which, it's cute, but, like, if I'm not trying to place things on the shelf, then it's, it gets a little bit annoying. <laughs> but it's also kind of cute, you know? I like, I like it. It's just sometimes not exactly what I was wanting. And we'll put- so that we can open these, we'll put some slabs here instead, but for now we'll do this, and then we'll put these right here, and then we'll get some more shelves. I do also want to have a Sakata crafting table in here, and we have to figure out where we'll put them. I feel like right here is good. I guess I'm using other tools because I, I, I can't be bothered right now. So if that goes here... And then if I go back to my spruce, I can make more of those shelves. So, pretty straightforward. Three should be enough for this bottom level. Because then we can just go like that. Make that all cute. And then, right here, we can add some more. Alright, well, we gotta make more. I really like these shelves. I think they're super fun climbing that so then we can put some right here we'll have some more chests there and then we can kind of just like have one right here and place um some like pots or things but then we'll mix in some leaves we'll have some potted plants we can put some candles here i really want to put candles on this like it's some ambiance i think that would be kind of fun but then i do want more of these for the upstairs so i'm gonna grab these I also want more chests, and I'm kind of running out. But as far as barrels goes, I think we'll stick one right here. Except I want it to be facing the other direction, the up and down way. So the black lines are running up and side to side, like so. So we've got a barrel. We'll have some lights in here as well, and then that'll look really cute. Now, I know I have a bunch of candles. I'm very curious. So let's put the calcite away, the buckets away. Don't need any of those. I want to see about the candles. I feel like we don't have any lime green candles, but we could make some. Maybe. I'm not exactly sure how candles will work in modded, but if I just type in candle, these neon green ones I want. So it sounds like I just need the lime green dye. And that's all I have. But look at this. We can have candle holders and then gold ones. It's kind of pretty. I kind of just want to see what these look like. Also, these are giant. Holy moly. How do you make a big guy? Oh, it's only... Can we not? Oh, gosh. What? There's, like, unique waxes? Oh, but that's in the... Oh, my gosh, guys. Okay. I will probably be able to get so many cute little candles if we go to the bumble zone where the bees are. It's literally like a whole universe, like, dimension of just cute little bees. That just sounds wonderful. Alright, so I have these candles. And I've got four sea pickles. I I think I can only make four lime green I don't have, I don't have a, a cactus. I really want to find a cactus. How, like, far away do we think a desert is? Because it seems pretty far. Like, I don't think we've seen a desert at all. Um, yeah, I don't think we've seen a desert at all. Now, I know there's, like, this miscellaneous thing, and there's a nature compass. How do we, let's see how we make this. So it's saplings, wood, and a compass. Let's, let's make a nature compass. Let's just see how far one could be from us, right? We also get a reward for doing it. So like, why, why not? So it's redstone. And iron. 
for now though, let's just grab some dark green candles and some of the white ones. Um, I think I need, yes, potted plants. We wanted some bamboo. Now we can start it to get into the decorating, right? So we need some saplings. I took plenty of these. We're gonna add our spore blossom. We're gonna use some of the azaleas for decorations. I think putting some of these little bamboo leaves on the ground could be cool. I need to kind of clear out some space. We'll put the candles here for now. Because I don't want to use up my only four sea pickles because I don't know where else I'm going to find little sea pickles. But then we can add some of these. Now we need the, the red stone. And we've got the wood and everything. So literally it's just the, the red stone to find the compass. Because I am curious how far away a desert is. Because I'd love to get lime green candles. I think they'll look way, way better because the vibrant green just really pops. So we can make a compass. Is it just like this? Yes. And then uh, I think it looked like so. Like this? No. Was it like this? Ooh, there we go. Okay, nature's compass. Da da da. We completed a quest. Now let's take a look see. You, so we made this, and we get some rope as a little a little reward. Except my chests are just overflowing right now, so I gotta put some things away. But we got some rope. Look at that. Okay, so if I right click this, oh my goodness. Uh, select a biome, desert. Okay, I, do I click here? Wait, teleport? I can't teleport. Start search. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh, 3,000 blocks. Oh wait, look, and it tells you the direction. See how the compass is like changing? So the desert is this way. Oh, this is so cool. Maybe that will be an adventure for um, a different day. Or maybe if we get this done, uh, we can yeah do, do some of that. But that is pretty far to travel, not gonna lie. But I do kind of really want to have that. Um, we'll, we'll see. But I do know that I want to kind of change the dirt to mud. So we'll do that quickly. Or not. Is it the top of the dirt? Because I changed these to mud. Do I have to splash the top? I like the sounds that that makes. That's sweet. All right. And then bamboo will grow here. And then we've got that, so that's good. Now, let's see here. I also want to have a table up here. And we have some little stools. Now, we have candles, so let me just show you how the dark green looks. It's not exactly the look that I'm like really wanting to go for, but I think they still work, you know? They're not going to be as like vibrant green, because the other candles look more like this, you know? It's a more vibrant shade of green, but this still looks cool. And then if we add just some like leaves, kind of just like dotted, I think that also looks kind of cool. Kind of just looks like there's some, some scattered sugar cane or different things. I was gonna use some moss carpets, but I don't really have any moss carpets right now. So like this kind of looks cool. Ooh, and then we can change, we'll put that there. And then we're gonna get some additional uh, like leaves around here, but we've got these candles. We've got 18 of these. Oh no, I didn't want to do that. Eh, gotta, gotta take the whole shelf down. Okay, then where's my shelf? There they are. So then I have to angle them like so. So those are my candles, and then we can have a little shelf 
like right here and then put some candles on here. I think the candles look so good. And then we'll have some azaleas in potted plants as well. I have to make sure I'm clicking here and then clicking there so it doesn't get a little bit messed up. And then we'll put one here as well. I think that's cute. Then we can put some bamboo. Oh, those not fit. I guess it won't fit, but that is all right. Now, this looks pretty cute. I like it. And then we can put some bamboo like right there. And then we'll add in a bunch of azaleas, which that will look cute. I'm kind of like trying to see how we're going to decorate this and how it'll look really nice and pretty. So then we've got nine of these. So then if we put some shelves right here, we can get rid of a candle. And then we're gonna have like blocks of sugarcane and different things in here as well. So this isn't like, I don't need to fully fill out this room, but we do want to decorate it still, make it look cute. And then, do I have more of those stools? I do. Did I put the stools down? Yeah, okay. So the other idea that I had was if we kind of made like a bar counter. So if I get rid of these, right? And then we can kind of put these here. And then we have a little stool. Like, look at that, it's so cute. And then if we put this here, and then we have some candles. Can light said candles. We got some ambiance in the room, which I think is really lovely. And then those paper lanterns are the next thing I want to make. So we need to make a lot of regular torches because we need lots of them for my cozy little little guys. These are literally like my favorite thing. So if I type in paper, like so. We're gonna make some of these guys. So literally, paper, torch. Very simple, but so, so cute. I wish you could put like a piece of bamboo or sugar cane on the design for this, but it's okay. You know, you don't need it necessarily. It does look pretty good if you had that, because then there would just be like a green variation. Dude, we're getting sugar cane, yes. I'm a happy camper. I am a happy camper. And, you know, we don't even, actually, we don't even need this way down into the caves anymore because this just gets us there, which makes it even better. Okay, so now we turn this to paper. Grab those, put this around. Now, we can decorate with them, which makes it even better. So, if we just grab some of these, let's take down these torches, first of all. We'll fill the corners, and then these corners, and we'll put one right there. We have two more. So I want to take down all these torches, just so I can kind of see where we should be putting the light. I think I want a torch, or a, I want one of the little guys right there. And we can put one of them over here, and I feel like this gives us enough light for the space. And then let's go grab those kelp blocks. Some more fun decorating. Because the kelp blocks will let us make the sugarcane blocks with the botanist table, which we have upstairs with our little copper golem friend. And I need to eat before I can't run. And I was using this. So we've got a lot more. And then I think I even had some up here. Yeah, we had a ton. I don't even know how I got so many dried kelp blocks, but we got them. How do you make these? Is it like a whole thing? Oh, wow, it is. Okay, that's, that's, that's cool, that's cool. And now what's fun is I can take this and make a lot of sugar. So then if I take these.
all the options that we have, so we're just gonna make a lot of these guys, because we can put these on the outside of the house too. And what's nice is we can always just convert these back into something different, which is also nice. But I think we'll put these upstairs. Actually, we're gonna go check if we have any azalea leaves. We have... Yeah, let's uh let's see if we've got azalea leaves cuz I think I really want to make sure we have enough of those. Otherwise, we're going to have to do some planting. We'll keep the kelp blocks up here cuz I feel like that is more of like a food thing cuz you can technically eat kelp. So that's where we're putting it for now. And then the saplings can go back here. And then we actually don't have any azaleas. Good to know. Alright, so then we're taking these two. And we are going to go with some bone meal. And we're going to just get some more leaves. And I'll definitely need to make... Oh no, I have I have extra shears. I was gonna say I'll definitely need to make more shears. We got enough, but let's go put these on our shelves and things. This will look really cool. Decorating builds and adding in the details definitely one of my favorite parts. And I feel like I've uh, seen a few different people say like, "How do you decorate well?" And for me, literally, just try to fill in the spaces with whatever you can. Candles and potted plants and leaves are the main things that I think really added in. I feel like adding greenery into a build also helps make it just look so detailed and pretty. And just throwing in chests and barrels. Like, they don't even need to all be filled with things, but they just, they just add a lot. So that's kind of the things that I think of, of like, what should I add? What, look, what would look good here? That's kind of the things I think of when I'm trying to figure out what to add into a build. But I definitely would say those things are great. But look, we have sugar. We've got sugar cane. Let's put one just like right there on the floor. Like it's gonna be like grabbed and like put up on the shelf. I think we also need to sleep. Okay, now we go up the staircase. We add some more details. I did want to have sugar cane up here. And then we can kind of just like have some sugar just growing. Or not growing, just sitting down. That is the better word. <laughs> the sugar cane isn't growing if it's in a bundle and already like harvested. But it'll look cute. So then, like, for upstairs here, we've got lots of greenery up here, right? And then I'm kind of just, like, figuring out where I could place some other, like, sh Oh, wow. I didn't know you were a gravity block. I was gonna say shelves, but, like, I'm just shocked by gravity. <laughs> kind of funny. And we'll put... Oh, not you. We'll put you up here. Maybe we separate this. Place the you there, you there, and then we'll place a little azalea. Little guy right there on the shelf. Cute. So that's really all I'm doing is I'm just adding some shelves onto the walls. And then we're gonna add, we used up our sugar, but we can add in another sugar cane block right here. Me not having an axe, but yet having, like, enchanting setups and all the other things. <laughs> uh, kind of funny. And then we'll get rid of those. And then let's see if these can actually go on things. I'm curious. <gasps> Ooh, they can. That's cool. Okay. That's super cool. 
Oh, but this can't go on. Okay, I see, I see. Oh! Am I sitting? Hello? Hello? Oh, I saw a brief window. There we go. I had like the sugarcane block, the lamp, and just everything was a little bit chaotic, but that works. But he's so cute and look at our little space. I love it. I just need to get down. Oh gosh. Okay, there we go. Yep, we're good. We're good. All right, so I feel like the next thing that we need in here is we need azalea trees. So we're gonna go grab a bunch of leaves. That's the next thing we need. Cause usually I'll add some azalea leaves in here and it all just kind of works out and looks really good. So let's go grab some azalea leaves. Let's plant these. And I also want to add some of these little leaf guys. I shouldn't have any more torches around because we have our pretty little lights. But we can kind of just like scatter these because it kind of just looks like there's sugarcane leaves or different things around. So I like that. Oh, I guess I just like to sit in all my chairs. We also need to uh, get some, get some nice uh, windows in here. But I think just adding like greenery or carpets onto the floors is another really good trick that I would say to try and add into your world. But I usually add moss carpets. I just haven't found a lush cave that's easily accessible. So I don't really have a lot of them, but I feel like this is kind of like a fun alternative. It kind of just adds some different shape, you know? But I think this is looking good so far. I think the, the leaves are the last bit that we need. So we're gonna grab those. And we also need to add some of these guys out here, right? We're also gonna be decorating outside of our house. And then we're also going to have some sugar cane actually growing. I think that's the other thing. We'll have sugar cane growing. And we can have some little uh, bamboo in some plants. Because I like the bamboo because it has the same just vertical up and down look that the sugar cane has. So I feel like it fits really well. So we can go like that. And we also need to make a bunch of lanterns for the exterior too. That's another thing. So we'll go like so. And then we can just add a color pop, a little bit of that. And I think that looks great. And now let's plant these. I don't wanna like use them up. <laughs> so we'll plant you and we'll plant you. And then get all of our leaves. I do need to make sure that I don't, um, that I get saplings out of this too. So let's try this. We'll put all of the leaves up there and then we'll try to grab some saplings. There's a sapling. It's good. It's there. Cause I wanna be able to grab a little bit of each kind of sapling. All right, we've got at least two saplings, so this is good. And then I, I really need to make an axe. We're just gonna do it. Actually, I think I already have some iron in here. Yeah. Okay. Enough just punching with my fist. You know, this, this isn't as early game as that anymore. There we go. And then grab these. I'm curious to know if you guys use a lot of different um, types of leaves to decorate your builds. I'm curious which ones you like using the most. Because for me, it's definitely the azalea leaves. Those are my favorites. But I'm curious which ones you enjoy using the most. Because there's just so many different types. So of course you can 
use all sorts. Like maybe it's kind of like a combination, but I'm curious if you guys like using leaves to decorate. Which ones do you like? Okay, there we go. And then come down here and just grab that. Oh. Why did the last one chop down with one hit and this one didn't? Kind of curious. Interesting how that works. All right, then as far as like quantity of leaves, did I put any in here? No. So let's do two more. I think that should be good. And plus our, our little uh, shears are gonna break, but we have more than one. We can just make more. So I think I had an extra pair in here. They were almost broken though. Do you guys ever put uh, mending on your shears and unbreaking? That's another thing I've never really like done. See, what did I do differently between those two trees? Okay, so I think I wanna get more of the pink. I think that'll be good. So we'll do one more and then we'll call it good. I do need to make more shears though. So we're gonna grab some shears. All right, awesome. We have like a full stack and some, so this is perfect. Love it. Okay. And then we have two azalea bushes, which is good because that means I can grow some, won't have issues with running out. So then we'll put all of these away. These are all of our items to build with. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I want to pull out of here and put back in here. And I think that was everything. Just the candles. But now it is time to do the, the fun leaf, the leafy part. So let's start on the inside because the inside is smaller, not going to take as long. So we'll go upstairs first. We'll get this done first. Now we're not going to have like a lot of leaves just because we have a lot of greenery in here already, but some pops of the pink is kind of what I'm thinking. We'll go like this. Oh, let's see, I can't do... These are the things I can't do. I can't break into this wall. Can I break into this? Yes, okay. So some of these I can actually like break and move, just not all of them, only a few. So if I go like this, that's the roof. So this doesn't work. So then we can go like so. Look at that, so green. This is so pretty for just having as like a sugarcane farm and shop. Oh, I love it. It's so fun. Ah, literally, ah, just so much fun. Just cannot get over it. Just the best. So, so fun. Love it so much. And I don't need this guy. This does make me walk slower, I'm noticing, when I'm over them. Ooh, we also need to get some, some, uh, we really need some, some little, uh, we need glass, that's what I was saying, like, windows? We need glass. Glass will be important. And then we can go like that. Let's take a snooze really quickly. I don't want anything like coming in the windows, especially towards the end of builds. I feel like I get more nervous that a creeper is going to like find me. And like right now I don't have windows so I could like climb out of a window. But like as soon as I have windows, we'll be safe. We just need to make sure that they don't see me. Okay. So this is looking good. 
All right, look at that. I might add another lantern right there because I feel like this is pretty dark right now. And I don't think I have any other paper, but I like how this is looking. So now it's just adding to the exterior, which we definitely have enough. So let's just go up and around here. I think we can just hop onto the roof. And I did leave my dirt so that I can hop up and over, which is helpful. All right, so we're just gonna start in this middle bit here. Oh, I can pick this up. So this is what I'm thinking. We're gonna have some leaves draped over here and then some draped on this side. So we kind of just get to start placing the blocks. Like so. And then I'm just kind of seeing how this is gonna look. We come this way. And then hop over here. We add in some of these. Now, ooh, I like, okay, I forgot how pretty these specific leaves in the Sakura Grove are, because there's a darker pink, which looks like the cherry blossom leaves, but I really like this light pink. I think that's so, so pretty. Now, this I want to kind of trail this way, so we're gonna kind of direct it, and then I'm gonna fill it in after we kind of figure out the shape of how this is gonna lead. So I like this. This is exactly what I wanted. So we're gonna kind of just add in a few, not a whole lot, just some. And then let's see here, we'll add one right there, right here and right here, just like so. And then I feel like that goes across the top pretty well. I might remove that slab there. So let's grab that one. Because then this right here, I think would be good to have just like two. So then if we take a look in free cam, this is what it looks like on this side. And on this side, it looks like that, which this is perfect. I love this so much. Then on the back side, I just want to have one kind of connected, but we're going to kind of wrap this tightly around this side because we do have a little bit of these two roofs connecting and I want to place some leaves in between this. So let's go on to the other side. Kind of see how to keep this like a tight wrap around with our leaves. And then we'll go down here. Now let me just free cam this. So I think I want to add more on this side of it to kind of keep it like tightly wrapped to the edge of the roof line. So let's just add one there. And one right there. And then if we just free cam away, we'll put one on this side. Then that's all for this edging. And then we'll go across the top and I want to get rid of this one instead. Cause I like, oops. I like being able to see the trap doors and putting it here helps keep the, the line of leaves a little bit to hide or to this side of things. So a little like so. And then like this. And let's see how this looks. This is a little too straight up and down. So, but if I go like this, we'll replace that with a flowery one. I feel like this is good. Ow. So let me just free cam. Look at this. I'm also terrified there's like a creeper just hiding amongst the trees. So I'm kind of like moving quick. I like that. So I think what we need to do is there needs to be a block right there. And then we'll kind of fill it in a tiny bit more. And then we'll call this side of the roof done. So if a block needs to go here, I don't want it... Um, I want this to be the one, so then this would get replaced, and that would get put back. Now if I step back here... Maybe I did want this to be the one. Let's try that. Put you here. And put you back. 
Now we look again. Mm. Maybe we just finish this. Let's just finish this out and see if that kind of helps. And then we'll put one right here and right there. So one goes right here and one goes right there. And then let me just step back. Yeah, this part of it, I'm not exactly sure on, but I think for now this is good. So let's just grab these on the side. Now we want to add some over here and I have, I still have enough left. We still got a good amount. So if we're looking over here, we still need to finish draping this down. So let me just quickly put something here. Cause then once I hop down here, I can just pull this down to drape the leaves a little bit more. But then I think if we put one right here and it comes down right in this spot by the pillars, that'll be good. So if I just, I'm right above the pillars as is. So if I just hop down here and then we go like that, we go like that. And then let's go like so. And then back up. I'm gonna put something right here. Yeah, that's good. I think that looks nice. And then we'll just come up over here. And then let's look at this roof line. So if this is right here, we could pull it down right here in between and kind of come out also by the pillar, but let's go on the inside of the pillar. So I think that'll be good. So I think if the inside of the pillar is right where I am, I just hop down here. And then the inside of the pillar. Yeah, that's exactly where I wanted it to end up. So sometimes if you have a specific location, you want the, the leaf kind of to like vine and snake around, just adding in some of the, uh, the leaves at the bottom too is gonna make that a lot easier. So that's kind of one thing that can help. Now, if I move, we can kind of see how our leaves are looking. Now there's a little too bunch, so I think I'm gonna move this over here and then see how that looks. So this one goes here. And now if I move over to the side here, let's see in free cam. Yeah, I think that's good. I think we're going to get rid of this. And now let's see from both sides how that looks. I think I do like that. I think this needs something here. So maybe we put another block there, but I can hop down and do that because then we can drape it right here. But then on the other side over here, ooh, this is looking good. I, I like the back. I think the back is perfect. So I don't think I had any other little dirt blocks over here. It's just these ones to move. That was all that I had. And then it's just pulling these down a little bit further. So we can do like so. That's good. And then we'll pull this one down. That one's already kind of pulled down. So we'll just leave that one alone. We can pull this one down. And then we'll put this here and that there. And let's see how this looks. That's good. Get rid of this guy. I think that'll be good. And then over here. Where are you from? <laughs> oh, I bet from me filling this in, there's some extra spaces. Oh, well. And then, yeah, I think this is good. Now, the other thing I could do is we could add in some greenery over here, but I don't really know how much I would add. Oh, you're like right in here, aren't you? You're like really close to me. <laughs> you're like right in here. <laughs> you're close. 
Um, but as far as on the sides, I think we'll just put some piles of the sugar cane. I don't have any more in here, but I think piles of the sugar cane should do it. I don't really think I want to add like a ton on the sides. We might do some of the leaves, little bamboo guys. We can put some barrels, some chests. But we'll just put like some piles of leaves, I would say. We could do kind of, kind of some of that. And then little piles like so. We can put little barrels, little chests kind of everywhere. That kind of just helps it look a little bit better. And now we can sweep. Just adding like a little bit of decorations onto the sides helps a lot. Like this isn't even like a whole lot of like blocks or anything, but it does make a difference. And then we can kind of just like grab some bamboo. Kind of like have some of those along the back and then add some leaves just kind of scattered. Doesn't need to be anything too crazy. That just kind of adds a little bit of dimension. Oh, I was like, why is that leaking? Because you put water there, Red. That is why. <laughs> it all makes sense. All right, so then these will grow up and have the little shoots, which will look really nice. That'll look good. And let's do the same thing on the other side. And we can even put some bamboo here just to create some lines. And we'll do the same thing over here because I think it looks nice. So we can kind of drape these in. Some right there, Put some bamboos. And this isn't even like really c that connected to what we're doing with the roof but it just adds a little something and sometimes a little something is all you need just a little extra and then we got this guy so then the biggest thing we need still is glass and i want to get more lanterns so we need glass lanterns and i do want more of the sugar. I like the idea of the sugar. I think that's cool. And we can clean this up. This doesn't need to be here anymore. So let's go inside, grab some of the sugar cane. Oh, I'm just very slow by the leaves. Was he down here? I didn't think they were down here. So they're like in between. So we'll just grab all of the sugar cane we have so far, because why not? We can add it into our shop to make it actually like a, a legit shop. <laughs> all right, so then we've got, we'll go like so. There we go. So we've got two sugar cubes. Oh, and the other thing I wanted to do, which I don't know where I put the buckets but I want to have some sugarcane growing on the outside. Here's my buckets. So that was the other thing I wanted to do that I thought would look really good, is if we just have some sugarcane growing out here. So let's do one thing right here. Just like that. And then we can kind of find like a slab go like so and then if I put a little something over it those bamboo leaves would actually be really perfect for it but I don't have any of those but I think what we can do is if we just add some onto the sides so we can kind of just like place one here like so because then, even if it's just along, like, the edges, I think it'll make a nice path leading up to this. So we can do, like, another one over here. Where it's just giving us 
Should I have? Okay, I thought I like accidentally covered it in. But look at that, just like a little bit of sugarcane kind of leading to it. So it's very clear this is our sugarcane little shop. I like it. Now I think let's do one. Let's do one right here. And I can go away like so. Okay, and then if we look at this. Yeah, I think just adding some on the sides is really good. And we'll do one more. And I want it to be like kind of over here. Just to really kind of frame it in. So we'll do it like mm, right here. And then like so. And then we can kind of just like place some sugar. Like that. Actually, the sugar's really hard to see against calcite. <laughs> so I feel like it has to be on the bottom. So maybe what we do is we swap. So we go like this. This will be sugar. Yeah, that's much better. Oh yeah, I like it. And then since we'll probably see most of the side over here, we can add in, replace these leaves with that. And then we can just... Oh yeah, look at that, that's so good. I love that. Okay, I'm gonna grab some from the inside because frankly I don't wanna go back, into the, back in there. But we've got two here. We'll grab this one. And we'll grab this one. Because I think we should still be fine and have enough. But then we can place these over this. And look at that. And then it fully covers it. You can't tell that there was water there ever. That looks so good. Okay, so then lanterns. We need to make paper for lanterns. Which, simple enough. We've got paper. Put those around. And then we just add them to the exterior. Now we'll put them right here, right here. And we need some dirt to put them up a little bit higher. And let's see here. Glass is something we still need, so we need to go looking for glass. But then we've got some lanterns there, and then we'll put a lantern here. And a lantern... I don't think I can put this here, but yeah, we'll get rid of this. And put the lantern there. That looks nice. And then we can probably add some more lanterns up there, but let's go grab some sand. And we're gonna go to, uh, let's drop off a lot of our inventory. We have so much in our inventory. So we're gonna drop off tons of these blocks and then we're gonna go stop by one of our little villages because that's probably the fastest way for us to get the, the sand that we need to just finish the glass. All right. I really like how this turned out. Look at that. Like, look how beautiful that is. And that used to just be a giant hole. And now we have a beautiful build. We filled in the, the crater. <laughs> and I'm very happy. Okay. So the crypt village had some sand on the shorelines. So let's go there first. Also, I did open the prisons. But are there any more? I don't think so. Can I, like, pick these up? Ooh. Oh, interesting. I can put things in there for them too. That's kind of cool. All right. I feel like I'm getting a little distracted just because there's so many cool things. But sand. We want sand, sand. I'm just having such a good time right now. Just building the decorating that we're doing. Just amazing. So, so happy. I think Minecraft is just such a cool game. Like, literally anybody at any age can play it. Like, if you get tired of the game, you can make mods. Just, like, so many cool things you can add in. 
and even if you just want the look to look like the 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 look to be different the look to look different what a, what a sentence that's what i was saying but then you just add like texture packs things like that like mizunos i know is super cozy i know a lot of people um really like mizunos and like i know frog crafting plays with mizunos a lot and it always just looks so good but like there's just so many ways you can kind of change the game to fit what you want it to be like it's literally the best what a good game okay i think a stack is just fine oh we have more than a stack we're good we're good on the glass Oh, okay. Yep. I literally like saw this as I was falling into it. I was like, oh no. All right. Now we go back. This is a tomato. Tomato shrub. That's so cute. I love that. Kind of fun that they have those. And we go home and then we need our furnace. And then I want to make more. So I'm going to take some of you. Make more lanterns. There you go. I think I also put paper inside, which works out. So while that's smelting, we'll make a few more of our lanterns. So we'll go there. And there. And then... Paper. Paper, paper. It does require a lot of paper to make these little torches, but they're just, they're just so cute. Or these little lanterns, but I love them. They're literally my favorite thing ever. So, so cute. So pretty. Oh, and it's definitely nighttime, but I kind of want to sleep in our bed. We usually don't sleep in our bed, so we're going to take a snooze in the actual bed. And then I have a ton of little decorative blocks. I wanted to just look through and see if there was anything that seems like cool enough to add in. But the, I'm going for more just like a white and green color scheme and we don't really have any little decorative pieces for that. So I think we're just gonna leave it alone. I'm also curious if I type in player head. Oh, that's the only option. Okay, so this is just Okay, never mind. I take it back. I thought I was gonna get some options to look at, but that is not the case, which is fine. We got lots of glass, and then I'm gonna just hold my shovel. So we got 15. We can start. We'll, we'll start with the glass upstairs, and then where's my silk touch? There we go. I love having a build as soon as we come outside. That's so fun, I love that. I also just remembered I wanna grab some coarse dirt because then we can have some fun building. Coarse dirt. And I'm trying to think if there's anything else I wanna place on the paths. Maybe some of these, maybe some of these grab more of the bamboo leaves. I wasn't sure at first if I would like the bamboo leaves. Like I kind of just started not caring about them, but now that I'm kind of placing them over the, the little slabs to kind of make it easier to disguise the water's points, this is it's actually really nice. So I can just take these. Like that. I don't need to like f make it cover the entire thing, but just a little bit. Makes a big difference. Okay. So let's go around here. Okay, we got glass on that window. Glass on that window. And then we come around this side. Glass over here. And then we just go upstairs. Because, yeah, those windows are all taken care of. And then... 
glass there. And then we can put the sugar cane back. And then over here. Let's put the glass there. And I can drop down and go back inside. And then this is the last one. Does this, does this not fit? Hello? Oh, I'm out of glass. Oh my gosh. I was just not even looking at my inventory. <laughs> uh, so funny. Okay. So I think lantern wise, I have enough. Oh, this is the spot. That was the spot I wanted to put one. And then the other side doesn't have any. So I want to make sure we've got this lit up enough. So we've got six. So we can put one right there. And then we've got one up there, so we'll stick one on this outside edge, too. So we'll use our core start and just go up. And then we can place it on the actual wall. It doesn't need to be, like, on a solid block, which I thought was cool. It can literally just, like, hang off the wall. That was an X. And then on the back, I feel like there needs to be one here just for some light in the back as well. So we'll just put that there. And then there should be one right in here. So we'll put it there. And that way on all of the edges of the roof, we have a lantern. So it looks pretty uniform all the way around, which I really enjoy. And then we'll just put one right here so that it lights up this side. I like it. Okay. So then we just need like two more pieces of glass and then we'll start kind of making the path look a little bit better. So we can add in some of these guys. And then we'll have our glass. Definitely more glass than I needed, but it works. Extra is always nice. And then it was just that one top build that needed it. Okay. Up the stairs and add the last glass and we're good to go. And then the sugar cane goes back, like so. And there we go. All right, we've got glass on everything that needs it. Upstairs looks so cool. Now let's get the path looking a little bit better. So we can get rid of these. And then add course in here add some course dirt up here like so we'll add some course dirt in around here And then right over here as well. And then we'll add in some bone meal. But I don't want red flowers. So we're going to remove those. I feel like the white flowers around here are gonna look better because we're kind of just going for the white and green but adding in some bone meal definitely helps make it look a bit better we just don't want there to be like too much i feel like sometimes there's just like way
adorable. I love that. Okay, yeah. White flowers definitely fit the aesthetic with the greens a lot better. I like that. Okay, so we've got these. Dude, bone meal. Bone meal just adds. Look at that. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. I love it. And now this is kind of just like making the whole area look better. Just adding some additional just like bone meal. But look at this. This is so pretty. I think we're going to call this done, guys. This is beautiful. We started with a giant hole in the ground and slowly filled it in until we finally have this absolute beautiful sugarcane shop. I think this is amazing. The fantasy style sugarcane shop turned out so, so good. I love having all of our sugarcane kind of just on the sides leading up to it. The exterior decorations I'm so happy with. And the interior is just beautiful. We've got particles from our spore blossom at the door. And then we've just got sugarcane on the floor ready to be put on the shelf. We've got a little cafe spot where you can just kind of sit and enjoy being in the shop. Add some sugar into your teas, your drinks, your coffees. And then you can kind of see the sugar cane grow around you in a very overgrown kind of vibe. And upstairs, there's some more cafe seating right here amongst the sugar cane and a sugar. And this is so cozy. And then there's just two little seats over here to sit. I, I love it so much. And then we have our little sugarcane farm at the bottom, which I think this looks so, so cool. I'm very happy with the, the style that it's in. It works well. You can kind of see all of the sugarcane growing and I think it looks really nice for having a bunch of modules of a sugarcane farm. And then we're just picking up all of our sugarcane as it grows, but I, I love it. The whole build is just beautiful. I had so much fun decorating this with you guys. I think for whatever reason, oops, okay, that stays open. For whatever reason, me making this specific build was definitely one of my favorites to do with you guys because it's just beautiful. Like in at night, during the day, like whatever time of day it is, it's just beautiful. And if we kind of just have more of a bird's eye view of our area, this is what it looks like, and I think it adds a lot to our area, honestly. I think it's nice to have something on this side of our map over here now, because everything was on this one right side of the gazebo. Now we gotta build over there, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna sleep quickly. And then we can kind of see what it looks like in the morning. Kind of just see it at all times of day. But yeah, our area is looking so good. But that's our little build in the in the morning time and I love it. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of seeing this transform from just a, a giant hole in the ground that we filled in to a beautiful little sugarcane shop. And I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day.